who's back? Look who's back from the desert heat, right? The desert's good old, good old, uh... What's the, what's the, I forget the actual nickname for Las Vegas, but anyway, that's the, that, that place. <laughs> the Devil's Anus? I don't Devil's know. Anus? I don't know, man. I thought that was, I thought that was L, uh, a part of LA, but anyway, that, that's nothing uh, important. What's important is that Zawa is safely back in one piece from Evo 2020, uh, 2024. So speaking of one piece, you guys are all caught up, right? <laughs> we'll do some spoilers. You know, you know what's funny? I actually <laughs> binged. I was I was binging one one piece, uh, the anime, uh, like few mm -hmm. for a few nights now. So I'm I'm like uh, three episodes away from the newest quote unquote. So I'm like almost caught up on the anime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so I I saw Egghead and stuff like that. I do, I do like how it's um drawn out and stuff like that or uh, animated so far. Yeah, and yeah like, i want to say like each arc of one piece you can tell like the the animation quality gets a little bit better 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 yeah, except yeah, for like yeah, a yeah. few episodes it was a little wonky a little... yeah it, it got a little yeah. wonky at one point but yeah. yeah but the um current art it, it looks wonderfully um animated mm -hmm. yes. even with um luffy going into the uh that mode yes yes because again he it's pretty much a reality warping mode yeah reality bending mode if you will like literally <laughs> almost pretty much literally he's pretty much scarlet witch without the red <laughs> there you go there you go well anywho um i guess speaking of reality stuff we do have Zawa here to tell us about his experience in the reality of things called real life. And um, so tell us like the overall like thought, I guess, of your experience. And then we can kind of like break it down as we go through these bunch of links because there's a bunch there's I think there's quite a bit of great moments to go through. But a good moment. Okay. So overall, Evo was fun. Like, yeah. Like it's one of those conventions that yeah, you can go solo, but it's better to have a friend with you. Like yes. at least one one friend. Yeah. Or, you know, also well, because both you and I are part of um the YoVG community, so it pretty much was like family already. Yeah. It, it was just pretty much trying to find everybody. Yeah. Because yeah. like Chris Chris and um Neon Zero, they were co um, referees, so mm -hmm. you had to pretty much go like, okay, which which game are you refereeing for? So Chris was um, for Street Fighter, and Neon was like on the other side. I think it was like Mortal Kombat or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then just seeing like the layout for you know all the pools. Overall, it was spaced well, but because, you know, like, let's say on table 379, Sonic Fox was doing his pulls, you know, you, so you'll see, like, a clump of people there. Yeah. And then um, the the pool table that um, I um, messaged you had Nemo in it, and I was like, oh, shit, this... <laughs> So good luck to all anyone in there. It's like ooh. good old good old Nemo, right? Good old Nemo. Yeah. yeah. I was like, ooh. Yeah, he was rocking. Jesus. He was he was rocking the bison, dude. He was rocking that bison. Yeah, he was. That's why. Like when I saw him, I was like, oh god, who are you playing? Yeah. And I heard bison's laugh, and I was like, oh. yeah. <laughs> Pull up a chair, everybody. You ain't playing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and he was... Like, the way Nemo was playing was scary. Like, mm -hmm. he had his mask on, then he had his um, fingerless gloves. You know, yeah. So I guess, <laughs> to not um, have uh, friction. Not friction, but, you know, like, because you're sweating when you're playing. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You don't want any, like, any like, interference of your... Yeah. 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 Inputs. So, uh, I was like, dang, good on him. Yeah, he's a he's a full gamer mode man. He's going full gamer. <laughs> yeah, man. 
mostly all the consoles that were hosting Street Fighter Five was the PS Five. Yes, I heard. Um, I heard mm. stuff about that too. Like apparently, a number of them weren't working well or something. Yes. Um, the the ports, the USB ports yes. in the back, they some were unresponsive to like people's uh own cords. Oh, okay. okay. Like beautiful when he was in his pool. Oh wow! So there was like four PS4s. So the one on. Okay, how am I gonna see this? I'm gonna say one, two, three, four. Mm-hmm. So the one on so the side that has three um, number three and four, number three. Um, it's you both USB ports were just horrible. Oh, like you read you read the input like at the character screen, but once in game, disconnection. Wow, that's so strange. Lost, yes. And then when you go on to um, PS, PS5, 1 and 2, completely fine. Like nothing happened. Like, completely fine. So mm-hmm. it was like three, number three was broken or, or it was working, but you know, mm-hmm. the USB connection was bad. Yeah. And then number four would work. And then I didn't, I didn't see it, but a table like further down because we heard like a big groan. I guess the PS5 overheated and just Ooh. shut down in mid match. And I was like, Ooh. I was like, I Ooh. hope it wasn't a, a big name over there because, mm-hmm. yeah, you did not want that definitely. But you know, I was hearing, because, I was hearing stuff about it, yeah, yeah, because the. the from what I gathered with the rules and stuff. Yeah. Because of that happened, both sides had to take the loss. On a technicality. And I was like, ouch, ouch. Yeah. Hate to see it, man. You hate to see it. Yeah. I mean, PS5, you're a beautiful machine, but Man. Yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't the uh, and the ones they had was the um, the one without the disc tray, so it was the um, the, the flatter one, yeah. But uh, but overall, like, oh, I guess one of the main one of the big negatives of evil, mm. hi, we're evil, we're sponsored by Chipotle. Mm-hmm. No, there's no Chipotle here at the at the um, convention center. You want Chipotle? You, you would, gotta yeah. travel that way. Okay, that's a that's a yeah. Like at least have something, <laughs> right? Maybe like I don't know chips and guac or something. But no, like, yeah, no, no. They they had the Chipotle lounge, which was like right smack dab in the middle of everything. But yeah. I was like, like my friend. And they host like a tournament, like a small like tournament and stuff, on every other hour. Yeah. If you won, you got like a, like a tote bag of Tekken Eight and like Chipotle stuff. And if you didn't win, you get like a ten dollars Chipotle gift card. And I'm like, yeah. What are we gonna do with the fucking Chipotle gift card? When there's none. <laughs> there's no Chipotle. Nearby? Yeah, there's no Chipotle. Yeah. <laughs> like, explain yourself. Right. Uh, or, like, I just feel sorry for Keters because where he was stationed in Artist Alley, mm. he was facing this way, but all the action was behind him. Oh, yeah. But the good thing is that, like, straight ahead, you know, those big ass um, TVs they hang, like, at sport- sports events? Yes, yes. Yeah. So he had a clear view of that. So, okay, you know, that's someone good. cheery, he can go look up and. Yeah, yeah, that's good. What have. Yeah. So he he had a he had his own personal TV like right there. That's good. That's good. Um, uh, but it was like a good setup. Like yeah. Like on one side was like all the action, so the fighting game and stuff. Then you have Artist Alley. No, actually, it was a mixture of all the action, and then the boots of Capcom, um, Bandai Namco, and 
and SNK. Then you had Artist Alley. And then a little bit further away from Artist Alley was another set of um, boots for like PlayStation. I, this shoe thing that was selling like evil shoes. Oh, and yeah. And then you had the dealers, the dealers room, which mm. was like on the far end. And then close to the wall where the bathrooms are, that's where you had the arcade place or the arcade section. Yes. And Simmons did put out, when I was hanging out with Simmons, he did point out a very big observation. There were two fighting games that were missing in the arcade section, which should be a staple by, you know, evil standards. Virtual Fighter and Soul Calibur were missing. Oh, man. They had oh. everything else. Like, they also had the freaking um, <clears throat> Fist of the North Star um, fighting game. Oh, really? In the wow. Arcade cabinet. So, Simmons was like, you have this kind of a, you know, quote unquote ish, obscure, you know, fighting game. Yeah, niche. Yeah. Yeah, niche. Yet you don't have Virtual Fighter or Soul Calibur here? Yeah, it's strange. I was like, Maybe they couldn't get those in time or something. I don't know. They have to have thought right. about that, but I'm I'm sure something yeah. happened. Yeah, but it was fun, like you know, reliving, you know, that that scene when you're, well, for me because we hardly have any arcade um, places here yes. in Hawaii. So yes, just being there and hearing all the noises, I was mm -hmm. like, oh. very nostalgic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm like I'm like oh. I want to play you. I don't know you. And then when we got towards the the rhythm games, you know, it showed like pretty much. I want to call it the DDR legacy cabinets. And yes. I was like, my knees buckle because I was like, oh, there it is. Here it is. Cannot. <laughs> Those DDR days are gone. Mm hmm. But it was it was just fun seeing everyone play playing as well. Yeah. And it was more funny because um, I guess it was on the first day, so Friday, you know, they had Marvel versus Capcom cabinets. Already, I saw a line of quarters. I mean, you didn't need to put the quarters because you know it was on free play. But I was like, these people have etiquette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. quarters up. <laughs> yeah, quarters up. Yeah, it was like it's like thank you. Yep. Like, Evo was fun. Yeah. Oh. And, oh no, I put it in the kitchen. I mean, when, when you got to Evo and pick up your badge, you got your badge and your, and the water bottle. Like a free water bottle. Oh wow, you get a There was, wow. there was a, there are, there were a good number of um, water stations. Yeah, you know, to refill your stuff. So that's that was good. good. But that's that, good. that was another. I'll, I call it the Disney ride. That was another Disney ride because you know you have to wait. Oh man, okay. But I think people figured out that some just brought you know bought bottled water and then just pour it in. Yeah, their stuff and then just recycle the uh, you know, yeah, the empty bottles. So yeah, it's like you know that's smart. If you don't want to wait, might as well buy and then just pour. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I and I think it was um Dunkin' Donuts because the convention center had like um a food court. Uh huh. It, it, expensive as fuck. Yeah. But the the chicken tender place sixteen dollars, but they they served a lot and their their chicken tenders were fucking huge. So I was like, okay. I, you know, I worked the sixteen bucks. Yeah. Well, I think it was Dunkin' Donuts. Um, they were giving um, free ice, you know, to put into your. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, do you know if there was a Starbucks in that same food court or around it? Because I know they do a uh, free nope. water. I know because I know they do free water for sure. Like if if you if you have your own uh like mug or whatever therm uh, thermos or whatever, they they just fill it up with water. Um, no, I, I, no, that's how was, we did it back in the day. It was Dunkin' Donuts, and then like. A hamburger place, the chicken mm -hmm. tender place, Asian fusion. <laughs> <laughs> I 
like, holy shit. <laughs> I, me and Vue tried that, and we looked at each other after, like, the third bite, going, like, no. <laughs> it's like, great, like, did it taste like, like, grease or something? <laughs> kind of. Yeah. <laughs> like, the teriyaki chicken I was eating, I was like, <laughs> like, my Asian side was like, the fuck is this? <laughs> Who made this? <laughs> Who made this? Do I, have go, do I have to grab JJ and go, and we both go into the, that kitchen and go like, this is how you're supposed to make teriyaki, you dumb shit. <laughs> yeah. And then there was like an, another stand that had like fruits and stuff. Yeah. So, so it was variety, but again, expensive. Expensive, yeah. That's the convention life, yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, I saw some uh, oh, yeah. people go out of the convention because um, right across the street was Circus Circus, and you yeah, know, you can grab like the little their little food court or the McDonald's that's on Circus Circus. Oh, and cool! Just bring it back. Yeah, bring it back. Oh wow! Because okay. that was how um, what was it five years ago at the Mandalay Bay? Like there was the food court. Yes. But I saw people go across the street to McDonald's and then come back. Yeah. Yeah. So it was kind of the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, how was it Sunday though? Because I do have Sunday. You would think it was busy, but it was actually tame. There was a lot of tame, people, but yeah. it was like tame. Yes. Until it got close. Until it was like after the Grand Blue um, finals. That's yeah. when you saw the people yeah. coming in. Um, finding their seats in the um, um, arena. Yes. Um, to which I think it was during the, like not even mid. No, it was like not even ten minutes. Uh, um, for the Tekken um, finals. Uh huh. It was already forming a line, so I guess they. Yeah. It was already yeah. It was still so. For those that watch his maxism um, stuff, if you watch the last day, you could already see a line forming and it kind of went like from the arena all the way to the dealership. I room. saw I saw someone take a video on Twitter and I saw the so they, they like filmed the entire line and I was like, oh my god. It, it, like they, yeah. they put it on fast forward to like the fast motion or whatever. It was like yeah. fucking long. I'm like, no way, bro. No way. Yeah, so it, it was, I'm guessing, like, again, the arena was filled to capacity, and if in order to get in, it was, like, one out, one in. One mm -hmm. out, one in. Dude, no way. I, 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 hear, it, I hear some bad stories about that. Yeah. It was so bad that it was almost considered as a fire hazard. Mm -hmm. And it was also bad because of, um, I think, the guys, the, the owner of Evo, Kevin, he couldn't even get in. Like he, the owner of Evil himself, couldn't get in because you mean Rick? already. Was wait, wait, you mean you mean Rick or someone? Yeah, Rick. Okay, Rick, I think. Yeah, sorry. Okay, I was gonna say like Kevin. Who's who's, who's Kevin? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's his that's his um, pen name. So he. Oh, that's his pen. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So Rick couldn't go in. Damn, it dude. was filled to capacity, fuck? and I'm like, because we see, because it was Tiff that pointed out that that was Rick going like back and forth trying to get in and i'm like and maybe, you look frustrated yeah well yeah he did say something about like yeah we, um you know the the arena vision was not met right the yeah expectations were not met for sure for sure okay like when you enter the arena when it wasn't filled you think it will house like a lot of people but then when you realize how many people i think they needed to like move put more seats and move you know the stands a little bit back to you yeah give more room it from what it looked like from my point of view which was I, I was watching at home by the way um it looks smaller so i'm like huh, it like, was it was smaller compared yeah. to like it having an actual arena yeah there. an actual arena this like, yeah this was like I don't want even. It's not even half an arena. It's like maybe one fourth of an actual size. Yeah, I wonder what that. I wonder what that is really for. Like, may, it might be for like, um, like speeches or something or something. I don't know. Probably, probably like debates. And debates stuff. and stuff. Yeah. 
But the man I remember the Mandalay Bay arena was like huge. Yeah. It was huge. To which I think that um if Rick wanted to do this again, he'll probably just because um on a tick let me see if I can if someone made the map. Oh, uh, oh, hallelujah. Someone, someone did have it. Let me give you this picture so everyone can see what we're talking about. Okay, I'll okay. I was like, someone must have put in put the fucking um, floor plan. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, so on a technicality, you would think um the arena is big enough. It's not. So what I I want to say is that... Uh, what is it that? Stage F at the bottom. Oh. See which stage F? They should... I know it would have been tedious, but on the Saturday... Like the Saturday night stage F should have been broken down, mm. and the walls that you see, I think, are movable, so you can just move the wall mm -hmm. to where okay. stage F is, uh -huh. and have at least a little bit more. I think. Okay. That that would have been one way, right? Yes. <clears throat> okay, interesting. Or it, it, or if not, like just have a. Uh, Another, you know, different side. Uh huh. Like rent another another um side of the building. Mm hmm. But, but again, overall, like the floor plan is nice. Yeah, nice. The, yeah. The la it seems like the layout is for the most part well thought out. Um. Yeah. So okay, so I guess we can bring this up but like when it came to sunday right um i heard i heard stories like like nasty disgusting stuff like literally because if you're talking about um them finding a seat cover in piss yeah that that's true oh my god yeah i did not want to believe that uh, i'm like no way dude yeah. no fucking way I, I didn't want to believe it either until um I don't know who brought it up. I guess someone from YoVG community was in the arena. Yes. And I guess they were like a few rows behind where the action happened. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, yeah, it was right there. Yeah, they can confirm. Oh, my God. Yeah. And I was like. Yeah, I saw I saw a picture and then the, the, the and then the a, a different angle and then it showed like the screen and it said Tekken 8, Tekken 8. Uh, or yeah, Tekken 8 top six finals coming up or something. I was like, oh, my God, this is real. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's why I was like, "Oh my Jesus!" Yeah, so some are you, yeah. And are, it, are, you, are you not mm -hmm. human? And there were like other witness accounts of like s the the smell being like like your uh the the, the smell like kind of whiff whiffing and stuff like that, and like yeah. they were catching notes of like yeah like the like urine and even like uh possibly p um a poo or something. I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck, man, um. Jesus Christ, but 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 urine for sure, yeah, for, urine for sure. Because apparently, I think the bathrooms were full or something, or they they were like, the lines for the bathrooms were bad, or something. Yeah. At least maybe in here anyway yeah. for the rest for the yeah, uh, arena side, yeah. Because it looks like there's plenty of restrooms over here, like outside the arena. Yeah, yeah there's like plenty so, of. Um, you know. Yeah. So right there on stage A, the top one. Okay. Yeah. 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 So that was um, Max's stage. So. Okay. Uh, on the left side was the women's and the uh, uh, not the family room, but you know the um, non non gender room. Yeah, like new, ge ne ne the neutral whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Neutral gender, um, gender neutral, and then the one on the right side was the men. Yes. And then uh, further down, so the next, uh, what color is that? I can't even tell what color, but where? But what those two, um, so yeah, right where your mouse is. I okay. don't know what color that is, but that one is also like 
one side men and the other side women. Sure. So it, yeah. It was like, yeah. So, so it was a good spot for if you were watching Max. Yeah. Which was yeah. more funny that um, when Max was streaming and the line was forming, like yes. people got out of the line and they just grabbed the chairs because all these little squares that you see are yeah. the um, the pool, you know, like where oh, you pool setups. Pools. Yeah. Yeah. They would just grab him chairs from the pool setup and just making their own little section to sit and watch Max. Freaking yeah. Movie. Yeah. Cause yeah. Oh, it's, I, I, yeah. I do see the entrance right there. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. So it, I was like, I was like, fucking join, join, you know, fucking grab a chair at this point. At the, yeah. Papa squad or something. Yeah. But, um, See the thing. See that another thing about this whole Sunday situation was that it's like, okay, you pay for this ticket, right? Or, you know, pay for the Evo ticket for the entire thing, right? For and how much was it? it was like two hundred yeah. bucks, around. Uh, I want to say yes, and then you around have to pay extra if you if you had to pay extra if you wanted it to be um if you're a, if you're you a know, competitor, right, yeah. or something like that competitor or you wanted to have it um personalized so i didn't make it in time so it says community uh-huh but it would have had my gamer tag and, oh yeah, yeah the gamer um, tag thing and then it would have put put an extra fee on it yeah 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 um um 234 234 oof jeez see that's the thing right like you pay that much and um a lot of people didn't even go to the uh the actual arena on sunday so it's like you're yep. you're essentially paying for not for, for you're not even paying for the full experience technically whole, yeah yeah and so and and when people wanted to go into the thing they couldn't right there, there are a number of people that yep. couldn't go into the thing so it's like yeah so i paid this much um and missed out on this part of the value you know so um yeah. i think they need to definitely work on that um by going back to the separate system you know like it, like you you paid separate in the past which made sense to me because like okay well not everyone's gonna go to um yeah, the arena it's interested interested mm -hmm. in the finals they rather watch it like how you guys did right you watched it at home yeah all right in yeah. the airbnb that being said i think um yeah. So I uh that being said, during that system, um it was always closed Sundays for the for the um the convention. This the, this whole convention was always closed on Sundays. And then there was just the arena that opened. So that, that was like the catch. So I wonder if that is a part of the 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 convention day or whatever as well as the arena. So maybe they took that into account, or or they wanted to take that into account, because of course, like right, the more um the more days you you want to open for your convention, you, of course you have to pay more for the yeah. the floor or whatever the for that day. So I'm wondering if it's not necessarily like all from the arena for Sunday. It was, it's it's just the fact that they they wanted to keep this open for Sundays, just you know because yeah, people were complaining about that stuff. So I don't know. It's 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 a strange little catch twenty two kind of thing. It's like, do we op do we make this more expensive for um having that extra day for Sunday? But you know what I mean. Like it's like that like weird situation now because it feels like you're paying for this when you can't even get in, or there's a there is a situation where you can't get in, or are we paying mostly for this, like this extra day, to, so that we can have this sort of experience on so Sunday. Can, mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can squeeze out a little bit more fun. Yes, exactly. You get a little more from that. So I don't know. It's it's a weird thing. Like, so I wonder, I wonder if they are still going to do something about that though. Like, are they going to um, have this separate, right? But, but have the main, what do you call the main Evo ticket still be a little more expensive, but maybe not like 234 bucks or 200 bucks. Maybe it'll be just be like 155. 165 or something for the overall yeah. ticket for the overall evo experience minus the the sunday finals because again not nah, everyone's going to go to the sunday arena right um, yeah yeah so it's like you're you know again you're paying for nothing pretty much you're paying that extra from nothing almost and uh even if you do want to like I, like i'm repeating myself here but i, I have to emphasize you're, you 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 won't be able to go in because of 
the lack of the room um that they, the room it's, space was yeah, yeah so yeah I don't know. um they definitely have to they definitely have to look into that um one way or the other yeah. though they have to definitely um, like, mm-hmm. i'll fault them yes for clearly sunday was their um negative mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but then i'll give them a positive that for well, what's it what what they did so far for you know the overall experience not bad right, right, right. it's a new it's a new place yes. they don't know what the fuck they were doing ish yes <clears throat> so i call this the experiment well it's pretty much like what it is it was the experimental round what worked what didn't work what can we improve for next year yes yeah 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 for sure this is their first and, time uh, yeah for the convention center yeah. Uh, for Las Vegas Convention Center, whereas they and always I don't yeah. know, mm-hmm. and I don't know if um the West Wing because this is where the West Wing um where he was taking place, the West Wing. I don't yeah. know if this was the smaller one, the smaller wing compared to the North or the South mm-hmm. um, wing. Well, either way, I, I mean, it was, yeah, it was the South wing that had their own convention, but it was like for basketball and. When you walked in there, it looked big, mm-hmm. but it had like two separate sides, like rooms. But yeah, that being said, because it was like a basketball tournament and stuff, you would think, yeah, maybe in there, like where they were holding like basketball um, games and tournaments, maybe that should have been the arena. Like one side mm-hmm. is just strictly the arena and then mm-hmm. the other side is where you'll have the other half. Mm-hmm. So maybe, maybe they'll try that next year. Go, yeah. go south wing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, South Hard. Sorry. Maybe they should have. Okay, that, I don't know. This, this maybe 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 sound a little weird, but maybe they should have two arenas or something. Maybe they have like an extra arena just just for people to like sit down and like watch or something. You know what I mean? But then of course you're gonna have the main stage where you know you have like Li Joe hosting it. You know, blah blah blah. Like that's yeah. the that's the main stage or something. I don't know. That it, it does sound a little weird, but at the same time. It makes sense because it's like there's so many people and then uh they couldn't even um have accommodate accommodate accom- they couldn't accommodate exactly exactly they couldn't accommodate for all those people that day unfortunately and then of course you have that bathroom issue right my god like ugh, you know um and apparently there's also uh sorry there's also a, pro- a problem where people um when they ever whenever they walked out and then wanted to come back in they couldn't because either um it got filled again or like that they didn't have those like wrist bands or whatever the wristband like you know oh yeah you know you know you can go back in or something like they didn't have those that system you know what i mean so i I heard a lot of a lot of that um from people on twitter so they did they should definitely be better about that too like be able to walk out, um, out and in right especially if the if those if these bathrooms are full yeah, of course. That's why. That's probably why someone pissed in that seat because they didn't want to lose their spot or whatever, um, you know. So they definitely should be better about that stuff too. Which you you would think would be a basic thing, like have those wristbands or the stamp or something. I I say wristbands because the the stamp will wear out or uh, they'll disappear. Wear out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The wristbands are better. Or, um, yeah. how we how my convention did it one year when we had um hatsune miku i believe mm-hmm. yeah i think it was hatsune miku yeah on the badge um i believe um they um hole punched mm. they hole punched the badge which is you know mm-hmm. like just as you said if they went out but they come back in they already had the hole yes. punch so they kind of had like the uh "Quote unquote fast pass or yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. you 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 were in here already so, yeah yeah so yeah. we don't need to like double check you mm-hmm. exactly and you know what's funny um I also just remembered that there were tweets where people were t- um they were taking pictures throughout the experience and there were actually empty seats and yeah they were saying like yeah um people couldn't b- come back in for some reason and so like I, um it might have been like a mistake or something on the, what do you call it, like the security staff or something um that's why i'm guessing anyway so it looks it looks like yeah. it looked like yeah like people stepped out at one point and then they couldn't come back in so there were all these like empty seats so it's like what the fuck so it's not only they accommodate everyone they they had 
the seats, some of these, some seats to maybe, I don't know, accommodate a couple more people in. But, but the fact that, yeah, like people couldn't like just step out and then come back in with, you know, like not, not having, or without having to worry about their spot being taken or whatever, you know, that, 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 that whole, that whole part was, um, f for sure, like messy. Like literally, for, uh, like liter literally and fig figuratively, because you know the whole piss the someone peed in their seat kind of thing. <laughs> so it's like, oh my god, that's that's terrible. That is terrible. Like hindsight, I am so glad that I did not go into that. View and I are so glad we were in there. Yeah. You know, we just we were just like pretty much what part of you know the stream. Yeah, because uh, which... mm -hmm, mm -hmm. go ahead. Sorry. Because um, we were talking to Chris, who was sitting next to us. I was like, you know what, Chris? The next time if Max does this, we should just dedicate one, like the middle row, like the entire middle row, just for the mods. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there was like some mods in the first, like the very first row. And then there was like um, Brunty and the other mods on this side. And I was like, you know maybe and other mods on this side so you know maybe next time we should just all all mods be that's a, yeah you know they should have the the, the green sword for like <laughs> they could put the seats with the green sword in it it's like are you it's like can i sit here no are you a mod mm -hmm. no <laughs> I mean, it's it's rough but hey man that's how it works man if if, if this spot is reserved for this per, for these people that's how it works man i know it's not what you want to see or hear but hey man yeah, that's that's but, gonna yeah you know it is what it is it is what it is it is what it is <laughs> and now 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 people in max's chat and stream knows how i look yes yeah which yeah, was yeah, more yeah. funny. Mm -hmm. Which was more funny was like, I don't know. I think it was just like a regular dude. So they were saying hi to all the to all the mods, and then when they got to me, they're like, "And you are?" I was like, "Oh, hi, I'm Zala." You're Zala? I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> hi." You're cuter than I thought. I was like, <laughs> "I was like, oh." <laughs> <laughs> That's that is. I wish I was there for like, that. I wish I was there for that. <laughs> like I think Chris heard him, but he was like, he just like refocused back on them, and, like, and I'm like, thank, thank you. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Ooh. That's funny. That's funny. I am not doing what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Mm -hmm. I'm a good boy. Yeah. Yeah. I I take it that most people did not approach you and say like oh yeah you're zawa or anything like that like you you had to you had you had to like say oh yeah i'm zawa and then it's like whoa <laughs> yeah i mean can't say anything about chris and neon because they're you know that's how they look already yeah 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 yeah. They, they've been around they've but, been yeah. around yeah but yeah just now people have you know the the face to the name and i'm like oh god some people some people already know what I look like because I, I, um, yeah, I, I've been to their house and stuff. Well, not not the new house, but the but I've been on their streams, so that they know what that, what I look like. Plus, you know, whole the yeah. whole alien thing too. <laughs> that <Yeah>. whole shtick. <laughs> I I w I kind of wish. I want to I want to see if um, I can somehow get my hands on like the that that stupid like alien head thing and I just put it on my head and people and then people would be like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, no, it's like, wait a minute it's like, it's like and you not? are yeah uh, you'll be like oh and which mod are you i'm hawk yeah. who <laughs> the, the, yeah, the alien <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be like oh, oh. <laughs> yeah oh you're and the alien like, <laughs> yeah you'll be just like yeah, yeah. The, the goofy <laughs> fucking alien the best alien quote unquote <laughs> anyway so um <laughs> uh yeah. well, overall I, evil was fun yeah how was the artist alley by the uh, way sorry if i'm interrupting oh for artist alley like some of the artists that were in this alley a fucking comes over to my you know to hawaii so i was like oh shit, I recognize you. Oh yeah, yeah yeah so you're you're like a regular to them pretty much in a way <laughs> yeah to which um one of the artists because i bought something provocative <laughs> Well, boyfriend they're like oh you know what since we see you in hawaii here take 
I guess it was like they made like a two, like a um, naughty book, and then they had the naughty Sandy, and they're like, "Here, take the book too." <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you there. Like, we'll see you next year at Kawaii Con. I was like, "Oh, Zawa, open up the chat." <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know if you had, I don't, I don't know uh, if you are able to see that, but Bird Bird of Hermes uh, said something <laughs> about you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So that's that's funny. Wait, oh, yeah. And some mods and some, uh, I guess regular dudes got a little jealous that they couldn't find me in time to get candy. Because I brought I brought the candy again. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the 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 Hawaii Hawaiian uh, chocolate macadamia yeah. nut stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To which um, I warned some of some of the mods who never had the candy before. It's like this is addicting. Do not eat it all at once. You're gonna <laughs> you need to savor it. Yeah. What yeah. does one of the fucking mods do? They eat it all at once. I'm like, oh my god. They they probably like exploded. <laughs> They're like it was so good, Zalo, but now my tummy hurts. Like yep. okay, that, yeah, that's, was... that's how my fault. That's mm. my fault. How? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I gave you a fucking warning label. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, so were you able to try out like the games that they had, like you know, like two XKO or like um other stuff? Two XKO, yes, and they, and also um. 2x scale also had their, their own little section in the um uh, what's it called arcade section mm. so not only that you get to play it in riot's booth but you also they also had like a, another section and then the section like, just yeah yeah okay cool cool so uh, how was it uh a lot of people say if you played um Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, it's going to feel right at home. Okay, okay. So there's no, like, quarter circle forward or... Um, also, like, forward. Uh, it's, like, it's like forward yeah. fo forward special special move or whatever. Yep. Okay. Like smash, kind of. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's a three-button layout. Mm -hmm. Light, medium, heavy, special, and then, you know, the directional. Some mm -hmm. people say, think of it as um, Battle for Grid. Others are saying, like, Think of it as um smash but a little bit dumbed down. Yes. Okay. Or with extra button buttons. Okay. Um chip damage is a bitch. Mm, okay. Cause um Braum, the, the character I was using was Braum. Yeah. The the one with the, the big, big shield. shield. Mm -hmm. One of his um supers, his level one supers, he makes like an ice wave. Mm. Yeah. That thing chips. Like not like like that it's like chunks off and i'm like even if you're blocking i'm like fuck it. if i have if i have two freaking um you know two two level two level bars fuck it, i'm just gonna spam this because mm -hmm. it also covers like almost the full screen so if this is brom it goes like that mm -hmm. so it covers like a good chunk so even if they jump they might get like clipped so i'm like I'm just gonna spam this fucking thing. Fuck the other supers. Just like, oh no, they're coming in. Bro, ping, 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 ping. Mm -hmm. Oh, bro, ping, ping, ping. <laughs> like, yeah. And to to switch the characters. Uh, so I was playing on controller. Yeah. You hold down. X. You hold down. Oh wow. It's not, yeah. I mean, it says tap tap, but if you hold down, then you can switch. Oh wow! Okay. And you can also switch. Um, well, it was like we were playing like um, one person controls one character and the other person controls oh, character. Okay. So when I did my assist, um, view would just you know hold down and then I take over mm. and to continue the combo. Mm -hmm. But the bad thing about the assist is that they linger. Oh. too long so it's oh. so it's kind of like mk mk1 right now like, okay okay like after they do their little stuff they'll be like pose pose now i go uh-huh okay but i guess uh but um there is a when you choose your character there's a uh, a mode mm. that you can switch off of. 
Yeah, I don't know what the booklet is. Okay. Like one mode is like um, both of you can do supers at the same time. Another mode is um, interchangeable. Like I do one one assist, a couple of attacks. Okay, your turn to do assist, do a couple of attacks, and you know that that back and forth motion. Okay. And I forgot what the last mode was. So it gives you options of your playstyle. Oh. And then I did talk to one of the develop, one of the developers mm -hmm. of, you know, cause they were asking like, you know, like what's a good number, you know, what's a good starting roster number. I said between 20 and 30, because it's a two V two, you know, you want to have it like at least an even number, right? 20 to 30. And then he's like, okay, okay. What? Uh, what else, you know, you want to give feedback? Um, I told him, yeah, cut down, you know, cut down on the, uh, the idle animation for mm. when the assist is done, because you're kind of giving like the opportunity for the other team to kind of like bounce back when yeah. uh, your assist shouldn't like linger that long. And then I was just giving suggestions like, or asking them, like, um, what is the majority of the roster going to be? So they said majority of the roster is going to be from Arcane. So you're going to oh, see, so you're going to see Vi, Caitlyn, Victor, Warwick because of season two, and Jace. Okay. So they're on their way. Okay. Another part of the roster is going to be from um, the Ruined King. So you're going to see Viego mm. and. The other characters that was part of that um, League of Legends game, and I was like, oh, okay. Um, so they asked, like, who do you want to see? I was like, well, personally, I would like to see you know some more region um, representation. So uh -huh. I suggested like Sharima, uh, Freljord, more Freljord, which um, Brom is from. Uh huh. Um, and I said Bilgewater and uh, Shadow Isles. And then when I said uh, Sharima, he asked, like, well, who do you want to see from Sharima? And I said, oh, my main. And they're like, ooh, so who is your main? Oh, uh, Renekton, you know, the fucking giant, the alligator. And yes, yeah. I, I know, see I know. him do this on the side. I, I guess he pulled it off his um. Oh, pocket. tablet, yeah. Renekton. <laughs> I was like, oh. Duly, duly noted. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> I was like, oh. I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm I, 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 pre I can predict him being a DLC for sure. At least, at least DLC. DLC yeah. DLC or, um, or maybe base roster. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But then he, but then the developer asked, like, Okay, if we did the um, whole like representation of the different regions, what is a good number? And I was like, three. Three, okay. Three, th three for now. How many? How, how many? How many uh, regions are there right now in league? Uh, Targon, Sharima, Bilgewater, Nox. Okay. Three. That's twelve. This Zon. Zon. 15. Ionia, uh, Shadow Isles, The Void. I want to say at least 12 regions. Okay, so that, okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they'll do 36 characters, but um, yeah, maybe like 24 might be a good start ish. Yeah, so, maybe, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe 21. Yeah, so I yeah. said like, I said like three, and I told him again, like, with Shurima, you can have the two brothers, which is Renekton and Nasus, and then the third one can be. Azir, which is the bird, or you pick someone else from Shurima. But yeah. I told him, if you're going to put Renekton, you have to put his brother in. Because, you know, they're, they're kind of like, they have to go together. And then, I oh, Demacia. So Demacia is another place. Mm -hmm. like, if you're going to do Demacia, you have to have the twins also, which is Garen and Lux, and then the third one can be uh, Galio, who's a giant ass um 
uh, gargoyle, mm-hmm. like a protector of Demacia. Yeah. <clears throat> and yeah. Okay. And and then I then I guess the final question I asked for the developers: if you do bring some of these characters, because some characters are fucking huge. Yes. Like Galio is the size. Well, depending on the lore, if you go by lore, Galio, I want to say he's almost. He's supposed to be as big as I guess someone in, like for real, real, real world um perspective, almost as big as the Empire State Building. That's how big Galio is. So I'm like, are you? How are you gonna, you know, like size? Yeah, that? probably size them down to like like uh like Sentinel size in Marvel or something. Yeah, yeah, because. Because Nautilus, which is from Build War, mm-hmm. he's almost as big as Galio, but just maybe a small, smaller size, just just a little bit smaller. So I'm like, you have these colossal giants. How big are you gonna make them on screen to represent them? To represent them correctly. Mm-hmm. Right. And then, and then the S. And they then they asked me a final question: Who do you who do you not want to see in this game? And I said Timo or any Yordles. I was like, sorry, <laughs> sorry, yeah. Yordle lovers, fuck those things. Yeah, because they, they're pretty much Yoda size or smaller. So yes, fucking, the hitbox will be like they'll be like the rocket ra- rocket raccoons, you know, if anything, at worst. But yeah, yeah. They'll probably give them like uh, little health or whatever if they, if they do make it into the game. <laughs> I'm I'm sure they will because I'm sure those things are like those characters are popular in the league side of things. Yeah, I'm assuming anyway. Uh, was there anything else you played, or is that just uh, for for the at least? Like, I played in the riot and the Capcom booth had the um the fighting game collection, but it was only um X Men versus Street Fighter Marvel Two. Mm-hmm. And I forgot the third game, but I also just played um, X Men vs Street Fighter. I see, I see. It was good. Yeah, I couldn't get into the SNK because that was a fucking Disney ride. Yeah, people really wanted to play. Uh, was it Children? Or no, uh, City of the Wolves. Excuse me. I was gonna say yeah, Children City. or something. Yeah, City of the Wolves. Um, people really wanted to play that one. I I saw the lines and pictures and stuff, so I was like, oh man, shit. But, um. Yeah. The Bandai Namco had um, the Sparking Zero the Sparking game. Okay, yeah, Sparking, Sparking Zero. Zero. Nice. Okay. And I forgot what's on the. Oh, and um, Tekken Eight. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, the WB game, which was uh, yes. MK One, they had playable on some of them. Um, Takeda. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Who at this point is now playable everywhere else? Yeah. So yeah. Um, uh, anything else, or is that it for like the major like stuff for this type of portion? I guess for for Evo. Uh I think it was at the entrance. Try zoom in. Where's the, the entrance? Camp? Which entrance? Uh, right, the right entrance. Oh, right here. Like, oh shoot. Oh, like over here, over here ish. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the Sony. So the booth. purple side. Uh huh. Well, so the Sony, uh, the purple side to the left of the Sony boot. Oh, okay. Yeah, right, right in that area. I have, I, I, I do have pictures. I forgot to upload it. They had like a, um, a memorial, like from the very first Evo till now. Oh, like the museum stuff. Like, yeah, like okay. the winners and stuff. Oh, okay, cool. And then cool. they had like, um. I know I didn't upload it yet, but no. Uh, on one section, they had the in, like the entire like, uh, what's it called? Like posters of you know like King of Fighters and fucking. So it was like a really nice like viewing to see all the uh, posters of mm-hmm. every game. Mm-hmm. And then yes, on the memorial that had the um like the past evil winners, um yes, a past winner's name was there. Infiltration. 
And then on the last day, uh, someone was a dick. Oh, they crossed out his name and wrote very a very uh bad word. Oh, harsh. They did, they had harsh words. Okay. Wow, man. Yeah. That's like yeah. that that was the most like fucking childish I could have ever seen. Like, you like know? yeah. Like, yeah. Right. It's like I'm not I'm not saying that what he did or didn't do, you know. Is, is, right. is not yeah. Is right, but whoever marked that up is like you know that they could have fucking used this this, you know, memorial shit again for next year. Yeah. And they would just like print, you know, just add like the new like this year's uh winners. Yeah. But no, because you did that, now they gotta re- redo it. Reprint. Yeah. Reprint the whole damn thing and stuff. And yes, the the rumors are true. I didn't know he was there, but apparently infiltration was there. Yeah, no, no, there he was there. He he said it himself and there were pictures and yeah. stuff and yeah. But like to which when yeah. Yes, he technically broke a rule, which is trespassing, but to me, it's like, he needed it. Like, you know, he needed to just be surrounded with, you know, friends again and just be, yeah, like, you know, just, just, just have that fighting game moment, like, yeah, a place, you know, to be at home. I, I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's, it, it's to that point where it's like, you know, we get it. Like, he did something bad. Well, you know, I'm I'm sure he's you know he's learned from his mistakes or whatever, and and he already like got it all settled with the court and everything, and you know yeah. it, you know that's that you know it's not our fucking business, right? He already took care of his business. Yeah, he he put that he put that shit into the ground. That that's it, like you know. So it's like w- yeah. you know, to what point then can we still like h- consider him like guilty in the in the court of uh, what do you call it, public opinion or whatever the fuck? So yeah, you know what I mean? Like uh, you know, I don't know. I I, I personally like, don't I personally don't care about infiltration whether he is there yeah. or not. That's me. So yes, again, he's not bothering me. Right, he's not bothering me, or I'm sure he wasn't. Like, he's he wasn't like intrusive for yeah, anyone else. Yeah, he he wasn't. From what I saw, he was just there. He was, he was just, just there. Yeah, a dude. Yeah, he's he just, wasn't like actively going like. Yeah. Hey, like, I'm I'm infiltration. Blah blah yeah, blah. It's like yeah. no, he was just. It was yeah. just there mm-hmm. to yeah. me it's just the people that making like a big buzz is like okay you you yeah have the problem while the ever everyone else is like yes we know what he did but it's not physically killing me <laughs> right right it's not mm-hmm. yeah it's not really a bother it shouldn't be but they make it into a problem and you know they just have that thing where it's like oh he, he's got something so they have like so, uh, I guess an excuse to hate on him, I guess. But yeah, yeah. But I mean, technically, yeah. I think he's a, he's still banned or whatever. But I don't yeah, know. He's still he's still banned. But... Yeah, but no one cared. Which... Like no one. Yeah, a lot of people didn't care. Like no one. Not that many people made a big deal about it. You know. Yeah. I don't think Rick was like you know Rick Dehado or you know anyone the uh, of the big staff was like oh this this man was here blah 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 <laughs> like we're gonna take care of it you know like <laughs> they, and also it was it was just for one day everyone you could yeah. fucking live yeah right you know obviously obviously if he if he's like you know um a a, a child predator or whatever the fuck then yeah, that's, yeah that that is an issue but this this but what his situation is between himself and his and, and his ex-wife so it's like yeah that's something that should be outside of our business that's like that's uh apart from our opinion like you know what i mean like that's not for us to decide oh. really you know well, in I, the end. when you talked about like kids and stuff i was happy to see like kids there uh-huh. at evil with their parents yes and they were fucking playing playing fighting games with each other oh nice and the dad like um it was the capcom boob it was a a dad and his son they were playing marvel too mm-hmm. like yeah the kids was was mashing but 
at the same time that that was like actually sh- telling them, oh, you're picking Ryu? Okay, do this, this, and this, and then this. So mm-hmm. the kid was learning. So I was like, yeah. It's like, That's cool. It's like, I like that. Uh huh. Now come here, kid. I, I'm going <laughs> to kick your ass. <laughs> Bro, the world. All right, now, now eat this mix up. <laughs> eat this mix up. And I was like, he's like, just wrong. It's just kid. <laughs> <laughs> all right now all right now you're, now you're going to learn <laughs> yeah, you're going to learn today you're going to learn today it's like yeah oh well, which um capcom i think i was on yeah i was on the last day he mm-hmm. no actually it was all through the days yeah. um capcom booth um they had their little main stage within their little booth um they had like um uh learn with justin or you know coach justin Justin will coach you how to play this game, and I'm mm. like, and it was being recorded and it was live, and I was like, do I want to get my ass handed to me by Jay Wall? Mm-hmm. No, I rather fucking walk into the uh, into the inferno of um, Vegas mm. <laughs> than get my ass handed to my right. Justin Wall. Right. I mean, what 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 game was it? I mean, you know, or is it just like um, Street Fighter or something? Street Fighter Six. Oh, okay, okay. And he was playing um Kimberly. Okay, okay. I saw the uh on the, during Sunday, like he did the the rock paper scissors thing with was was like three people, and then like one of them beat Justin, and uh, I liked I liked his uh post interview thing. He's like, I'm washed. <laughs> I love that quote. I'm washed, man. <laughs> uh, I I I love Justin, man. He's so he, he's yeah. He's he's such a a good um all around person. I seems love, like yeah. I love Justin. <clears throat> I wish I could have you know just took a fit picture with a uh, magic muscles, but yeah, yeah. But hanging out with his wife was fucking fun, as, funny as fuck. Yeah, no, I'm sure. I'm sure you had you had, you had an experience with uh that whole shtick. <laughs> yeah like she she pretty much said said it like people need to learn that these are just regular guys stop acting like they're fucking like like a gods, gift from gods. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah they're just regular dudes just go up to him and say hello don't be fucking scared and yeah and she was like saying more stuff and i'm like Okay, you're drunk. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's like, I can tell yeah, when when no, someone's that, yeah. talking like this, you is drunk. Yeah, the the truth. I, I was drunk too. The truth. Serum. I was drunk too, but still, yeah. I was like, he's like, well, girl. No. <laughs> no. Girl. Mm-hmm. All right. So let so uh, so just to kind of like keep it um, brief for this part, uh, how would you compare this to your your first time? Like was it? Is it like? Better. Is it? Yeah. So so it's like day 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 and night, like night and day. Yeah, like, it was it was fucking day and night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. It was day and night because I want to say like the Mandalay Bay. It it was big, but you kind of felt claustrophobic at at some points when mm. you know you were walking through. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Here, here is like wow. There's a lot of people, but actually, I can fucking ooh, I can walk around. Yeah, I'm not like like this oh sorry sorry it's like yeah that's but when it came to like artist alley and stuff it's like maybe yeah that's where you go and oh sorry because you know people are like looking looking at so what would you say was the best part about evo this evo and the worst the one word the one best and one worst thing about this evo One best is like just the genuine like seeing it live, everyone's reaction. Yes, yeah. Of you know, like the new trailers mm-hmm. or the um, upcoming characters, like just seeing it live and feeling the same energy that you give out mm-hmm. when you're excited to see. Which I know it's it's in here, uh, Guilty Gear. Yes. Didn't I fucking call that one of the my main wishes guy would show up? Because remember I said it was Zappa and like two other people? Yeah. So thank God he's in. Mm-hmm. But still no no fucking um insta kills. 
No insta yet. kills, strangely, yeah. At this point too, I was like, hmm. Either yeah, there's yeah, at this well, point in in, yeah. in its life cycle, it's like Yeah, it might be the actual first skill to gear with no insta kills, man. That that's that'd be that'd be very strange, but we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, the one bad thing is um Yeah, what's the worst thing? I guess just getting there. Getting there? Like the lines or like actually like walking into uh Evo or whatever? Um I'm gonna i I'm gonna combine both both the lines mm. and just getting there physically because um and I'll explain it like after like close to the end, like how to if they do the uh the convention center, like what here are like these tips to you know survive it's either you take an uber which was always a fucking like crap shot it's either it was like 15 dollars or at least 25 dollars uh-huh for the ride or you're you're on those um you're on the strip but um your hotel has the uh, monorail system mm -hmm. that, um, that you pay and then it's like you ride the monorail and it takes you like Fairly close to the um, uh, to the convention center. It's either you walk or you go through um South Hall and then just pop on the other side. I see. So yeah. So so um, would is there like one change you like to see right away? Like what's what's the one change or improvement you would like you like really want to see? For, for next evo get a separate hall or a separate area for the um finals yeah yeah i think i yeah i think it's safe to say that they really need to rework the uh the arena stuff for sunday because one there was not enough room for accommodation because and then two the lines was crazy three there was that whole thing with the bathroom like i don't know what the hell that was all, all about like whether the restrooms were full all the time or like i don't know what the what the deal with that was so Either way, they need to rework that. And then the fact that you had um you have to pay the ticket for that part of the experience that you don't necessarily have a hundred percent um chance to experience, you know, even if you wanted to, that's that's kinda yeah, like that that's fucked up. That's a that's a bit of a um that's a bit of a miss to to put it nicely. So um, I think they need to separate those things again, like they did in the past, somehow. But then again, yes, they. Um, I think the cost is to offset the fact that yeah, they're having Sunday open. You know, the the convention, uh, floor made the you know for the most part open, so that you can have like you know the watch parties and more more arcade stuff no, just more games just to play play more play more hanging out with people just that one for that one more day you know what i mean so but i think the arena thing no matter what has to be separate because no like not everyone's gonna go there and having to having to be forced to pay for that shit is i don't think that's a that's optimal you know i definitely i definitely uh again do think they need to uh do that so but i think well from what it sounds like with rick's one of rick's uh last tweets about evo um uh, let me see here he did he did mention that so i think um hmm rick the hundo okay well anyway so um he he did mention about that so hopefully that will be looked into and Keep, uh, keep that separate so um but real quick i wanted to try to get through these uh tabs uh i did wanted to ask you one thing about um evo what was the smell like because apparently according to rick you know a commentator for tekken tekken 8 he said it, it was smelling pretty bad at one point so you know uh people sh should mask up at evo just because of the smell did you run into any I, issue with that? I, I, I can't say that. I say anything about that because I did have a mask on. So right, right. I was re I mean, there was like, I guess on the first day because, you know, it, it was fucking hot on that first day. So, mm -hmm. you know, people were either walking in and and stuff. Yeah, there, there was like a lot of BO, like 
Mm-hmm. I crack a joke to Kiers. I was like, wow, this smells like a smash room. Mm-hmm. But the, but but hey, there's no Smash players because you excluded a uh, Smash out of Evo, so you can't blame it on Smash Smash players anymore. That's what people say. So uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, hmm, who's the who's the real corporate uh, co- uh, uh, culprit all along? You know, it's it's just it's just gamers, man. It's just it's a fucking gamer thing. Plus, it's fucking hot. You know, <laughs> right? So you know, you got competitors that just stick to the game for too long and don't. Uh, take care of their personal hygiene and it plus it's hot so you're gonna have that you're gonna have those smelly people man you know um so um and then plus like the fact that you know someone pissed in the arena it smelled like piss <laughs> in that one area so um yep. i forgot i forgot to mention <laughs> yeah that the the incident from the angle i was able to see happened right around like here on this side so um pretty close to the action i would say you know to the main action of things so maybe the uh I, I wonder if that like that whiff of piss got to the main stage and someone one of the players was like oh man why does it smell like piss and then that got that, that got to their head like and they got they, they got um they lost because of that or something i don't know <laughs> at least one of the players anyway but no nah, but that 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 also needs to be looked into as well what the bathrooms right accommodation right uh, or just have this arena stuff completely separate, like in another wing or something. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Um, that's uh, up to Rick and the others to figure that out. And then um, another person. Oh, yeah. Burr, Burr says, we got rid of the Smashers and it still smelled Kappa. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And then he also said, um, for Guilty Gear, um, they're not gonna put in insta kills for babies first uh guilty gear that's what he kind of calls it um uh, it might hurt the baby's feelings so yeah i mean because drive is supposed to be the accessible guilty gear um for the most part which is why for a lot of guilty gear players they say it's like pretty fuck um super simplified so that's could it could be a sign i guess that uh they might not put in the insta kills but i don't know we'll see We'll see. I think by the time um, Guilty Gear will be like at that point where it's like it's just it's just the Guilty Gear people, you know, and like instead of like you know the casual and stuff like that. I think at, at that point they should put in the the insta kills because it's like it's like who cares, you know? It's, it's a staple for Guilty Gear. They should put it in there. I don't know. I mean, if they don't put them in there, then that's something like whoa, this is the first Guilty Gear with no insta kills. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, uh, one other person um added to that sort of um situation or ha- ha- there 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 are no- there was another account that added to the the smell thing right so the 2xk area smells like corn and sweaty balls please do better gamers <laughs> what uh did, did you did you experience any of that or no or did you mask up no. and did not okay like i masked up and it's like what you would think that I mean, if, if it was that bad, it would like go into it like would leak into your mask or something. I don't know. Yeah, it, it would leak, or or it's like maybe it was you, sir, making. I know the project. Yeah, maybe maybe. Hey, man. Yeah, you never know. It could be projection, I, I deflection. I don't know, man. You just never know all these things, right? Well, I mean, one could be said for sure is that i think um there's a lot of deflection and projection on the smash players when it comes to the smell it's like yeah they smell but it's like they're probably not the only ones that smell it's just gamers man shit <laughs> you know yeah. now that and now that the smashers are like pretty much mostly gone at evo um with the exception of a couple of other people because there's a the buzz the buzz was there for for evo because you just wanted to watch or whatever or, or play i don't know um he um he was around, but either way, like it, it was still smelling. So it's like, who's the real smelly one here? <laughs> You're right. Um, this one. Oh yes, this one. Um, did you see? Did you see this uh, list of prohibited items when you walked in? Or yeah. yeah. So this one had. I, I, yeah. I, I saw it and I was like. <laughs> Yeah, the one that the one that caught me was uh no strollers. I was like, what the fuck? Those what, you know, like what happened to 
what who who made that who made that rule like they they got, they're out for the kids or something or for the babies or something i don't know someone that's not like babies no kids, are allowed. No kids allowed yeah fuck them kids at uh, as michael jordan quote unquote said but no no um uh what was the other ones oh yeah no no noise makers okay that's whatever um no no, no noise makers Mm-hmm. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Motherfucker, what the hell is this? Thing? Right, exactly. No selfie sticks, tripods, or monopods. Really? Uh, oh. fuck you. I saw people with selfie sticks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and I guess the tripods is because they had the on their badge media. So oh yeah, 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 they, yeah. They, yeah. They, they, they they had a fucking pass. Okay. But but did you see the selfie sticks from like regular ass people or? Yeah, from regular ass, like <laughs> going like this. Oh yeah, so mm-hmm. like. I think they wanted to. What they wanted to say is like the long ones, right? Like the really like yeah. the the obnoxiously long ones that with the three sixty camera shit or whatever. I don't know. Um. Yeah, I think that was that was like the big one, the the, the, the stroller one. But they were like, but they um, what do you call? It? They uh. Cross off that, so the the the, the strollers were allowed again. So, um as they said here yeah uh strollers are allowed in the convention right they are not allowed in the arena due to requirements with the uh stadium seating so i think that's what it was i think that's what they meant to say is no strollers in the arena side of things that's probably why because i think i think strollers add an extra seat so it um fucks up the uh, the layout and the room i guess then put the then you know what you know when you're walking up to your stands you know there's that stairwell leave the child right there down at the stairwell <laughs> like, okay honey you need water no okay shut up <laughs> yeah apparently there's also a misunderstanding with the water bottles or whatever so they had to clear that up as well um which i wouldn't think that would have to be clarified but okay um this one oh reading is hard yes this this whole shit so yeah, so so that yeah the view was a part of this situation yeah shit but yeah the, out, the it uh, first off for, for those who are listening we we're talking about the crowd strike um it outage so that happened globally which was really 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 bad but uh what you're saying about beautiful yeah so beautiful. He was supposed to be in Vegas like hours before me, mm-hmm. because you know he lives in Cali, so it's only like an hour an hour trip, right? Yes, it's like forty five minutes. So he he took um Frontier. Mm. Didn't then this should happen. So they try to book him on the next flight, still not fixed. So he tries Southwest, same thing, blah, blah, blah. At the end of all this, he did not arrive to Vegas until 11 o'clock at night. Oh. He was up since fucking, I want to say six in the morning. Ooh, man. And me and my happy ass, happy ass, yeah, yeah. in the hotel been, room, yeah. just just going like, you're just like, mm-hmm. <laughs> like you see it. eating pizza, eating pizza. Got my got my badge, watching whatever was on the TV. Mm-hmm. Oh, what did you? Counting how many? I forgot to ask. Where did you stay? Oh, we stayed at the at Exucalaba. Oh, Excal. Sorry, there was there was no sabers there. Thank mm. God. Excalibur. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go on. <laughs> He'll be like grabs to get her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. J smack. Mm-hmm. But man, yeah, Excal. So you know, me waiting, me checking on him. He's like, where are you? You know, he can fucking hiss. Yeah, with every hour because you know, he yeah. Been yeah so i'm like so when it finally came i, I was like downstairs already fucking gambling <laughs> i'm here because <laughs> again what the fuck am i gonna do because if i gonna if i went to take a nap i'll be out mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
because my my I'm sorry, kids. My flight is a five to five hour flight. Yeah. Yes, I could have been sleeping on the plane, but you know, fuck it. Sometimes once you close your eyes again, you're like, okay, I'm just gonna take a one hour. Yeah, you're like out like a light bulb. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bert said, oh yeah, the baby thing. He, uh, he's like, did you bring a baby? Babies don't watch this. Leave this scene outside. <laughs> right it over after the show. Goddamn, man. <laughs> oh, man. Where are your parents? <laughs> but no, um, yeah. 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 No, this shit was like bad, dude. Um, I think I have it somewhere else, but like there was stories of uh, Harada and Jabali having it really bad, but uh, Harada said, "Due to United System problems, I, I I'm taking yeah. an Uber from Vegas to LA, four and a half hours to five hours drive. Like no fucking shot, man. Oh my god, I don't know if he did, but um, yeah, that's bad. Fucking like, Kenny, Kenny was Kenny, Kenny wanted that fucking." <laughs> He wanted to take the opportunity, but I don't. I don't know if. Yeah. No, it was really bad. It was really bad. And then Jabali, um, had to stay till like Wednesday, the following Wednesday, pretty much, thanks to Delta. And then like he had a whole mess with the uh the luggage and everything. He was like really worried about his luggage being lost, but um they brought it back and he got it. And yeah, that was a whole lot of time wasted because he has a CEO Taku, I think that's coming up. So yeah, that's that's really rough. So people got bodied, man. <laughs> people who took those flights got bodied. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, guys. As someone who did fly to Vegas at one point. Um, yeah, dude, that shit was bad. That, that shit was like a, a digital pandemic, man. It's so like it gives you a really big reality check when that when stuff like that happens. It's like if you know like it, 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 you would think that they would be on top of that shit, but no, man. Like one little thing goes wrong, this whole digital thing. One thing goes one thing goes wrong, the entire thing just collapses. It's like a house of cards, man. It's like a house of cards, and shit like this is uh can happen, dude. It's. It was rough from what I was seeing, dude. It's it, and it was like uh air airlines were bad, hospitals were having a bad, banks were having a bad, even Amazon was affected uh, fucking affected by it. And um I and you know, I was on vacation at the time too, or uh so I didn't I don't know if FedEx got aff uh, affected by that cause, since I work at FedEx. So it's um I don't know if they got they they had to have had been affected by it some uh, in some capacity. Cause they they do the airline stuff too. They do like air shipping and all that stuff. So they had to have been affected some way, but um, yeah, dude, it was it was really bad. It was really fucking bad. So I'm pretty sure like people who um, some somebody's gonna sue uh CrowdStrike or something, man. Somebody's gonna sue for sure. But I uh, you know obviously obviously Harada made it home. But I hope yeah. he, he made it home without having to fucking take that Uber, man. Because that shit sucks. Having to take an Uber from Las, Las Vegas to LA or uh, any of that, anything of that distance, you're that is a fare of a lifetime for that driver. But it's a, an expensive ass fucking fare. No. It's either like originally, View wanted to do the bus thing. Mm hmm. Yeah. Which I think that should have been like. I might, yeah, now that I think about it, I might just take the bus for now on, I don't know, I might just take the bus to uh, Vegas, instead of taking my car there, I, I mean, I, I'll, I'll take my car maybe once, but I'm not gonna do that, like, every time I go to Evo. Oh, cause, one, you, the gas, yes. it's gonna be a fucking kill. Right, two, like, my tires, my tires, gonna, yeah, my tires. tires are gonna, gonna be, like, staring at you, once you get to the hotel, they'll be like, <laughs> yeah, like, one of them, are, three of them will be like, well, that was a trip. One of them is just going to make. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. like... Yeah. And then, like, um, 
Yeah, you have to worry about your car, like maintenance and yeah, tires, oil, like all that shit. But yeah, I don't know. There's 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 a there's a there's an upside and downsides to everything with the plane and all that stuff. The plane is like, oh my god, that was bad this time around. It was all all around bad this time around. So um, yeah, the bus obviously like yeah, you're traveling with people. Same with the plane. And then when you're in a car, when you're in your own car, yeah, you're either alone or with your friends or something. So you don't got to worry about, you know, being with people, so to say. But you got to worry about your tires, your maintenance and everything, all that shit, you know? <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. But um, for the most part, it looks like everyone else made it safe back home apart from these problems. But a lot of people got affected, dude. It was bad. It was bad, man. Um, I think one of the artists for Artist Alley almost did not make it to Evo because of that shit. He like barely made it to Evo. I think his name was like, like Kai or something. Kai, Kai something. I forget, I, I forget his full name. But um, he he drew stuff for the Ma uh, Max's like thumbnails. I forget his name. But yeah, um, he almost did not make it. So that shit was bad. Anyway, um, this, let me see, what was this one? I, I, I didn't, I didn't have time to, uh, oh yeah, this is the same shit. I did not have time to like label the thing. All right. So, uh, on a happier side of things, at least we got pictures like this from Mago. <laughs> he did that face <laughs> from, uh, it's, it's like that Joey face, you know, Joey Wheeler's face from, <laughs> um, the memes and all that stuff. Uh, do you see his? You see, uh, you see my screen share? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That, that, is, that is hilarious. And there's there, there's Nemo right behind him, too. <laughs> That's funny. As you, as you were talking about him. With that with that bison. Um. Okay, and then... Oh, man. The, the, the Harada P Lily Pichu thing. That was fucking hilarious. <laughs> that was funny to see him live. Oh, my God. I don't like this game. I was like... Yep. It's like Jesus Christ. What a oh man. What a what a set. Like the the wild I can't believe I beat him. That was really close. Oh wait, Harada's got some thoughts. Please I hope he he's gonna toss smack. I I quit <laughs> 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 Oh, speaking of Harada, mm. the final, the, the, the during the Tekken finals, well, yes. before the Tekken finals start up, yeah, that was the longest he went in speaking, perfect, you know, good English, and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, I was like, Jesus Christ, he's still going. Mm -hmm. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Lily after the Vinod on their Oh my god. That's hilarious. Nah, did it, did it, that that drop was like, oh my god. That's so like oh man. I mean I love it at the for the most part, but you hate to see it too, because it's like, oh man, I can kind of relate. <laughs> Man, Lily beat you, man. That's funny. Uh, that that is hilarious. Thank thank you, Harada and Lily beat you for that. <laughs> uh, and then um, oh yeah, Sonic Fox was very unhinged <laughs> that weekend too. Uh, so there is this clip of Homeland uh hit uh Sonic Fox playing Homelander, right? Beats um. MK Javier uh, in one match or one game or whatever or one round whatever the fuck beats him and then uh, they cut up they cut off um, Homelander's like victory pose thing victory screen thing so Sonic Fox reenacted that the capabilities of Homelander oh, no 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 no, no. Yeah, yeah yeah thank you production thank you Thank you, production. <laughs> Sonic is like, nah, 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 boo. Fox, we just cut away from it. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, gotta love Sonic Fox, man. It's so funny.
<laughs> they're so funny <laughs> like, like, so funny it was like it's like how dare they good yep. job yeah and then he does the <laughs> um uh that's funny that's funny I, I i personally found that hilarious as someone who who watched um all of season four so i was like oh man have you watched yeah have you watched the boys um season four or did you watch that last episode by the way no I, okay i'm like slowly catching up to like shows that i missed during the weekend no oh, okay okay gotcha but it's it's really good it's really good um there's that and then this one involves with oh yes the third strike finals was something <laughs> oh yeah, yeah especially with this player right here who sadly did not win who sadly did not win but he got fifth but he's like the personal like mvp or whatever like like yeah he he was the crowd favorite the, yeah the, 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 like... the crowd favorite people's champ that all that stuff man <laughs> uh, him doing all those poses mm -hmm. i was like yep it's like how flexible are you child yep. oh yeah there's this clip right here Whoop! he does the splits <laughs> i forget i can't find the tweet that someone said like this is how for all you grappler players this is how you must play now mm -hmm. yeah he picked hugo he was the hugo player oh, yeah that hurts me brother <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. This guy is actually the most mobile person of his age group. He 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 is super flexible. Yeah, that's why. Like yeah. when I saw it, I, I was like, in my head, I was like, he's a freak. <laughs> yeah. Now, Bird Bird brought up a point. Um, Daigo did not win that. Uh game when he did that when he when there was a evo 30 moment 37 he yeah, did not he, win people thought he won but th there's a uh, no justin won that game or whatever or that whole match which is funny but he, he he's basically the daigo of that of that time basically so especially um uh there was one more clip that was actually like gameplay stuff and he was like pairing the shit out of uh the other character with Hugo. I'm like, oh my shit, dude. This guy's crazy. This guy's crazy with the um the Hugo. Oh right here. I think it, yeah. I think I do have it. Okay, okay. So he's not dead yet. Do we go for the do we go for the Oh yeah, it's Ken. Okay, there you go. He goes for the universal overhead, then backs away, dashes up in danger. Chip oh, oh my god, no, no, no. Oh, huh. <laughs> the fucking Hugo run. Oh, Justin didn't win either. I mean, no, I'm just talking. Uh... Wait, did he not win that match though, Bird? I thought he. I thought he won Daigo. Well, anyway. Do you understand? That is a worthless button. <laughs> to make it useful in a very touch crazy scenario and look at this the pop-up this is what he wants he is a showman but jesus yeah this guy was um play. the crowd favorite for sure like yeah that's crazy dude that is crazy third strike is still like crazy after all this time it's kind of like melee you know um this one oh yeah Another moment from Hayao, that's the player's name. Yes, there we go! Try, try, and... So you saw Pikachu... Oh, yeah. Oh, this is, this is uh, back during uh, actual pools, I think, so... <laughs> this, after he won, I think it was like, yeah, the game or whatever. <laughs> the camera... Cuts into the player cam and it shows. He's like, he's like, he's literally flexing. And it just cuts off immediately. Oh man. Okay. Oh, so, okay. So, Bird says Daigo went on to grand finals, lost to the guy who put him in losers in the first place. Um, 
Oh, okay, so it's like a Yoon. He lost the Yoon player named Kenji Obata. Uh, AKA KL. Okay, okay. Thank you for the, the correction there. So, okay, I thought, I thought, yeah. I thought Justin won that uh, that match, but okay. So he did, so Daigo win that, w did win that match, but he did not win the entire thing. But he did go on to Grand Finals, to his credit. So, Daigo, Daigo, Daigo either way is the GOAT. <laughs> but anyways, this guy is like pretty much up the upcoming GOAT. Hayao right here, he is the upcoming GOAT. If he keeps it going, that is. That was, that, that. That guy is wild, man. That guy is just a whole nother level of just entertainment. And then this uh, moment was pretty funny to me. Um, so it involves with Xiao Hai during KOF finals or top six or whatever. KOF 15. He is nowadays known to have like a cover for his um, fight stick so that no one can see his buttons. Or like how, what, what he's hitting or whatever, and so his opponent kind of kind of like taunted him in a way. Almost forever, and absolutely will congratulate each other despite who wins and who loses. But for us, the viewing audience, we get to experience the excitement. <laughs> from the <laughs> oh no! Look, look at this guy. This is weapon development at its finest. On one side, you can see the fa the the most uh, advanced protection system, and on the other side. The simpleness of the Japanese ingenuity. Fantastic <laughs> clash of style, but you don't deserve to. Yeah. So basically, he just has his own like face, um, as a cover for his side. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. I thought that was I thought that was hilarious. Uh, okay. Next one is okay. So this one shows off like who won, who played in top eight or whatever, or. Uh, well, televised, quote unquote, or streamed was top six, but usually you want to show off top eight. So there's a top eight, uh, recap in a vis in a visual representation of the, uh, top eight for Evo 2024. So with, um, obviously with KOF, Shahai won that and he continues to be the God that people have been, he's been, he's being portrayed as for, uh, just SK stuff. Um, Sonic Fox won MK1, right? Also a god, pretty much at this point. He's like he. Uh, they they've been winning like a lot of evos throughout time. Um, Senado for uh, Other Night Inbirth, Third Strike MOV, right? Apparently, which stands, which stands for Master of Vampires. Um, and then there's Hayao right there, the beloved Hayao with the Hugo, right? And then, um, Grand Blue Fantasy with Aaron. No, no, it's pronounced Aaron. <laughs> Aaron, yeah. Aaron the Mac, right? Or is it? Uh, uh, the Mac. <laughs> no. Um, congrats, Aronda. Uh, Aronda, no. Aaron. Um, Nitro, right? Nitro winning, winning. Winning Guilty Gear Strive, right? You know, US player. Yeah. Well, winning with Strive once again. Winning with um, fucking Jacko. Jacko and. Um, <laughs> And has, a, and, I guess, um, a secondary... Geo. Um, and, yeah, and Geo. Geo, yeah. Geo Bono. But yeah. it was so funny when it was, like, the finals oh. between Nitro and uh, Tatsuma. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like how, like, in our section with the YoPG, like, people are saying, like, the husband... <laughs> Mom and dad are fighting again! Mom and dad are fighting again! I was like, it's like hey, 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 not yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not part of the lore yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're just good friends. Right now, enjoying a car ride. A uh, bird says, apparently, uh, third strike was MOVs to lose. So, but 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 because he won it, he's like, you know, he's he's definitely like, once again, a god at uh, Street Fighter, especially with third strike. You know, he 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 is also very very solid player. Cause he can, 
you know, top. He can dish it out. He can dish it out. Yeah, he he tops like all those Street Fighters, you know, in that tournaments. But Street Fighter, uh, no, excuse me, Tekken Eight. Once again, Arson Ash. He's been super consistent. Always been top yep. within the top eight, and then he won this one that this time around too for Evo. So and another go. Then we call it. Then we call it like during um what our last um podcast we were about to see a lot of dragon offs mm -hmm. yeah number of dragon yeah, offs I was, I, was mm -hmm. I was happy that your boy made it i know right yeah he's been represented quite a bit right quite a bit um <laughs> grand finals was pretty i, could, yeah, I, I wanted Usang to like continue when he brought out the arena i was like mm -hmm. <gasps> yeah like, someone get keeters <laughs> right like, get her <laughs> yeah your girl your baby a good number of uh, Mishimas and, well, I mean, yeah. and Jin is a Mishima pretty much, yeah. But um, a lot of Mishimas and Dragonovs, and you have the one Feng Wei. But, but the Nina, though, Nina, yeah. with from, Ar from Arslan, man. Very, uh... Yeah, that, 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 I think if we're going to say, like, a top, you know, like, what are your top uh, evil final moments, that one second left match with Arslan and Ash and... Mm -hmm. Yes. I was like, I was like, oh shit. Yeah, I think I did not, I did not fucking breathe in the final like 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. I did not breathe, I think, because I was like, oh god. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, dude. There was, there was a player in the top eight oh, yeah. for, for Guilty Gear Stripe <laughs> named Ooey Gooey Chewy St uh, Snicker, man. You gotta, you gotta love the name. You, how could you not? How could you not, right? Oh yeah, and then there's left. And the <laughs> there's left. <laughing. laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, but left hand was left hand was playing them freaking happy chaos. Chaos. Yeah. <laughs> happy chaos. Which I love. You could you could hear everybody going like the boredom. Yeah, you could, you could hear the boredom, right? Yes. Man. It's like if you breathe any louder, I would have told you to shut the hell up. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. The uh, fucking Zondo. Mm -hmm. with his um oscar holy crap my eyes are like when does this stop right does he does he not stop the cubes man the cubes <laughs> imagine there's a character like like um oscar in either fucking zenless or um freaking uh genshin mm. just, just does that just fills the damn screen it's like yeah, the en the enem the yeah. enemies would just be like, can can I move? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move. Yeah, I'm gonna move. You know, I'm just gonna sit right here. So yeah, it's kind of. I mean, it's kind of like that with if you have a right setup for for Genshin teams. Uh, I feel like New Valet right now is kind of like that because he's just stupid. He does stupid damage. He just fills up the screen with a beam. So it's like, it's like, that's it. That's game, game set match. <laughs> For, and then the enemies is like, oh, I, I, all right, I guess I'm, I'm erased. <laughs> you know, um, but lastly, though, Street Fighter 6, that was like, oh, my God. To which I cannot say anything because I went missing. Uh, I, I, I kind of noticed. I was like, oh. He's out with JJ. I, I bet, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But like, um, all I wanted, I'm sorry, all I wanted was just to say hi to JJ. You know, before you know, we call it a night and and go away. And no, nope, that was my first mistake. Mm -hmm. Hi, JJ. Zawa. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we didn't have a drink together, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're getting a drink right now. Oh dear. <laughs> it's like that ah, shit. Okay, right, here we go. So if you just saw like me running away, it's like Yeah. <laughs> like Chris, like like view Chris and the other mods in the front were just like watching me getting dragged away by yeah, JJ. By JJ like, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I'm just like, like mouthing to them. I'm being kidnapped. I'm being kidnapped. I'll call the cops. I'll be back. I might be drunk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
So now, sadly, we didn't get to see Angry Bird and Tokido because they're yeah. yeah, right. Because this is top six, not top eight. But they're still they're still in it, man. They're still consistent, you know. But guy gave it a punk. He broke the curse for USA, right? For Street Fighter Six. It's been uh let's let's just say fifteen to twenty years, right? Because uh, I I think Bird was like telling me it's like about fifteen years ish if you want to count some things or some things out. But anyway. Pretty long time since US lastly uh last won something for Street Fighter at Evo anyway. Um gotta give it a punk, man. Uh after all after all what he went through at Evo, like oh my god, man. Especially when he was so close uh that one time, but Tokido took it away from him and he won. Not, you know, not to discredit him, not to discredit the Tokido or anything like that, but you know. He 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 uh gave punk uh the run for his money and um and punk got second place at that one t at one time during uh street fighter 5 but you know punk was able to take it uh over big bird and uh it really went down to the one that one moment which uh, Bur uh big bird uh missed the anti-air and then it was just it was just a mix up from there and then that's it you know um, who know? I mean, who knows if it was that one one uh, jump in that got big word, but you know, it it was really right, winding down to that one moment, and then Punk got it, you know. So big congrats to Punk, right? Quite the journey that he uh, has taken, you know, and um, he will continue to be Punk, you know, <laughs> one thing for sure. Interesting though, uh, roster wise, you have the one cami, you got Rashid, you got two, two, um, Eds, two Kens, one DJ, and one Bison. I think, uh, well, it's safe to say that, uh, Luke is out of the picture and JP. <laughs> so <laughs> it looks like it is a better, uh, balanced game now, but we'll see about that as we go along towards uh what is it the world cup whatever the the esports world cup and then the uh capcom cup and that'll be taking place in tokyo but yeah i also like how some people were well, was like looking at these finals yeah were like up oh, this is gonna give um the developers a reason to like oh this character did too good nerf yeah especially dragon off like, i i can definitely see dragon off being nerfed but a lot of people are saying, like, by the way, Dragon Off was nerfed before Evil, and I was like, "Yes, he was. was he, he was nerfed. Yeah." <laughs> I was like, "Was he? he doesn't look like it." <laughs> right, because the heat, the heat mechanics is just that, and Dragon Off just, or, or they, they're like, you know, they just, they, 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 they were made for each other, essentially, you know. It rewards uh, Dragon Off, especially for. Um, this game so i think i mean they would have to really nerf him to make him like you know fall off but i i hope they don't because it's like yeah i mean, I mean it's like come on you know what i mean like you have to make him unplayable to nerf really nerf him right that's just my that's my two cents on that but i think he'll always be up there just because of his play style and just the heat mechanics it just rewards him a lot in comparison to um other characters that's what i'm that's what i've been saying like the the, the heat mechanic is it just rewards certain characters it like leaves out these characters but these characters that were made to like rush down or whatever they they, they were it was a match made in heaven you know that's why the heat mechanic is like not the best like mechanic in terms of balance I guess you could say that the same for Street Fighter Six, because some characters need more drive than others, or something like that. And um, it works. I don't know. It works better for some some others. I don't know, but um, but meanwhile, you know, um, there are some characters that don't need it as much. Maybe that's why they are top. I don't know. It does, it, it definitely rocks the, the 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 balance for sure. One or the other, and I feel like in this case, the heat mechanic really accentuates the rushdown nature uh, this time around. 
So people like Jack are going to be left out of that. That's another main of mine, you know. Because he's, he's not a rushdown character. He's just, uh, he just plays new, uh, decent neutral, all that stuff. You know, you want to keep, keep away from the opponent more than anything. But you got characters like Dragonoff that love to rush down. So, yeah. They're probably going to try to nerf him again, but we'll see. We'll see how that uh, turns out. We'll definitely see. Alrighty. So, good, good. I would say it's a good uh, EVO Finals. You know, definitely not the best, but it definitely had good moments with Hayao, especially. Um, some with Sonic Fox. And then a little bit a little bit of King of Fighters, but yeah. Street Fighter Six definitely had a good all-around uh, like moments and stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for Evo. Um, another Evo in the books, right? In the history books. Now, um, there is a couple other things, though, I do want to mention. Yes, so it's a perfect way to wrap up the Evo portion of things. So, yes. Evo 2025, Evo 2025, excuse me, um, is coming back, of course. But uh, this time around, it's going to have L.A., as part of the uh, the roster, but what this is basically um, is a spinoff of sorts via award show. So at first I was like, "Oh shit, they're gonna have Evo at LA!" Like, "Whoa, you know, this is actually awesome. I can go to Evo or I can go to LA like nothing, right?" But it's just an award show, sadly. So I was like, "Oh man, that, I kind of killed it." <laughs> so uh, I have no reason to go. <laughs> um, you pretty much was like. Um, Peter Griffin in that one episode when he was like back in school, mm -hmm. and it's like when he didn't get college, he just pushes everything off the desk and he's like, "Fuck this place." Mm, yeah, yeah. You're like, "Yeah, lay." Oh, yeah. Mm, fuck this place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, Burr says a Japanese player has yet to win uh, Strive at Evo. Crazy how that happens when the game has tim simultaneous world release. Yeah, right. Um. That is actually crazy, yeah. Because uh, I think outside of Evo, that's uh, uh, they they won Evo or won a Strive, right? In some other tournaments, but not e uh, but not at Evo. Red Bull, uh, I believe it was Gobo that won that that one time with uh, Gold Lewis, which was crazy of its own. Uh, but anyway, back to here. Uh, so we do have Evo Tokyo as the next Evo Japan, right? Coming at May. Um, May 9th, to be more specific. And then the award show will be sometime in February. We don't know the exact date. Evo Las Vegas will be back once again. But this time in August 1st to the 3rd. And um, this time around, they're going to have Europe in their lineup. And they're going to go to uh, Nice. <laughs> or uh, Nietzsche or you know, nice, depending on who you are. <laughs> but um, that is that is in France. That is going to take place from October 10th to the 12th of 2025. And even they even uh, provide a little sneak peek for next Evo uh, in, that, uh, in 2026. And Singapore will be one of them. Singapore will be the next. Uh, well, I don't know if this is going to be like, uh, like this will replace Evo Japan. Or are they going to have more Evos? So I don't know about that. Or are they just adding more Evos? I don't know. By the way, um, you said you were like kind of relieved that this La Las Vegas one will be in August. You know? Or some t or yeah. to some extent, yeah. Uh, any particular reason why? Or is it just, it just kind of gives you more time? Uh, more time and um, it... It's gonna be a little bit cooler, but true. not true. Like... Yeah, it was rainy. Like it, it was rainy at some point in August uh, in Vegas when we were there. Um, funny enough, it was on the last day when that happened <laughs> when it was raining. So that is that. So yeah, it is true. And plus, it's closer to uh, Evil Day, the official Evil Day that they have uh, established yeah. uh, last time. Which is in uh, August fifth or something, like that. or it's either August fourth or fifth or some, some somewhere around there. It's closer to that time. 
So I definitely know when to uh, place my vacation days next time. <laughs> I will do. I'll uh, I'll try to make it to uh, next Evo. We'll see. And uh, I guess will be hopefully be a good time for me and such. Um, any other comments for Evo before we uh like mostly wrap it up? Because we do have some other stuff to talk about. Um. Oh yeah. I guess um. <clears throat> if you're going to Evo and if, if they're gonna have it at the uh convention center again, uh, pick a uh pick a hotel if you're gonna do hotel um that has connect um the connection to the uh, monorail system yes by like a, a three-day pass yes which um a three-day pass was like 25 bucks oh that's a not bad pass was, was like 30 37 oh well, that's not bad yeah yeah so so it's not that bad yeah so the one the one i know it's like here's the hotel and the station is like right across is mm -hmm. um the flamingo it's like right across oh okay the other one is mgm but to me personally, MGM, when I walked in there, I was like, I do not belong in here. Mm. Why do you look like you're going <laughs> going to the Oscars, and you, but you're just here for fucking gambling? What is wrong with you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. going to be like, who the fuck are these kids walking through? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 are these yo yo uh, what are these youngins doing here, just of all... Casual life, <laughs> and I was like, "Who are these ghastly creatures in our <laughs> lobby area?" Ghastly creatures. <laughs> these connoisseur, connoisseur. <laughs> what are these ghastly creatures? Have they no shame? <laughs> <laughs> the, as they have wine glass, or they hold it like this. The, wine glass, the monocle, like, have they no shame? <laughs> I mean, that's how I feel when you're, you know, you're in a place that you really feel like you don't belong. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, just like, I know yeah. I if I ever visit um, L.A. and I go to like Beverly Hills, I'm like, I do not belong in here. <laughs> I am I am poor. Mm -hmm. I cannot do a fucking pretty woman right now. I cannot go in, like big mistake. Yeah, I'd be like, no, my mistake was entering this <laughs> this fucking establishment. Oh yeah, so how much did you spend this time around? Like, what would you say would be a good budget, based off of what, how much you spent? <laughs> With or without Uber, like attached to the bill. I I would say just to include that in there, just for the sake of like, I don't know, make make a budget that uh, ensures your. You know, I... I'm a simple person. Uh -huh. My credit card did did have a good exercise. Yes. At the end, at the end of all of, of my extravaganza mm -hmm. of spending at Evo. Yes. We we almost hit. We were three dollars short of eight hundred. That actually is a lot less than I expected. I was waiting for you to finish your drink because I didn't want you to just like spit it out. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> spit take it. Yeah, I know. No, I actually thought it was going to be like, I mean, it's, I, I, I mean, it's not far off, but I, I, the, uh, for some it's reason, not I, far I thought, off, but the, the big hit was the, <laughs> the what? Lovely, uh, the big, oh, the stick. Was, oh, you bought a stick. That's why. Yeah. The biggest hit was, was mugged bit. Yeah. So I would say I would say a thousand then. A th I think a thousand is like a good budget. You're you're set, you know. Yeah. If, so that's if, yeah. if you, you 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 have a goal. Like, yeah. Bit, bit. Yeah. There you go. Look at Zawa's stick. Look at that. It looks pretty nice. It's a, it's a, it's the king edition too. It's like geez. Yeah. They had the entire like they had like the so Vectrix. When I was hoping to, you know, see their booth, so I was like, "Please be, please have the shit that you had um, at Evo G uh, Japan." Yeah. So I can buy it, and if they didn't have it, then you know, then I would have like four fifty save. Yeah. 
So ha wow. So that's like half. That's half of your budget then, or pretty much how much you spent. Jesus. So you can even get away with like five hundred bucks if you want to go super cheap then for for Evo. Oh, I guess I guess it's an un unboxing shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's also why people. A lot of people go to Vegas. It's like, yeah, you get stable for yeah. Oh yeah, that's a that's a that's nice. Holy shit. Wow. Yeah, when I opened it, I was like, oh, he's yeah. already here. They say hello. Yeah. And what's nice about Vectrix, um, even if it's not their product, they, they would have, um, they do the custom um, engraving. Yeah. But, yeah. But it's a good size. Right. And then that's my custom engraving. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the, the button feels good. It's a hexagono. Yeah. Uh, where is it? And I like that. But the parts, like the compartments, like right there. See, so it's interchangeable. Wow! Look at that. You have full yeah. access, dude. Look at that. Just like that. Yeah. yeah it's like opening up a hood of a car, dude. <laughs> No, just like the, the the I call them the love handles. The love handles. <laughs> <laughs> <It's like, laughs> love handles. That oh man, that's a funny name for that. I just need to buy either the backpack, which which they did have a Tekken edition, but that one was like two hundred something because you know limited edition Tekken. Uh, pay for the brand. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Or if not, um, there's um the straps but i i think i feel more safe buying a um um a bag you know yeah to just have it because at least with the the bag it will have some extra protection if it's just a strap and you know one side just gives out he's like why why father why mm -hmm. have you abandoned me wait is the 800 dollars included with the plane tickets or no no. Okay. Okay. So, so eight hundred yeah. just just how much you spend at Evo. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So okay, maybe it is a thousand. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you want to know how much my plane ticket was, it was eight hundred. Ah. Oh yeah, because you live in Hawaii. Yes. Yeah, so. Yeah. That, I get. <laughs> yeah. That's that's a little Parad rough. <laughs> Paradise not fucking cheap. That's a little rough. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, well, if you live in California, then yeah, you can definitely get away with like maybe a five hundred. But uh, I, I say a thousand would be a good, a good, good solid number. So you don't have to like worry about like, oh yeah, you know, whatever. But unless you live in certain countries or certain places, then of course that changes. Then you have to calculate that accordingly. But for me, probably a thousand is probably pretty good. Or or even twelve hundred. I'll probably do twelve hundred. But yeah. I don't know. All right. So that's pretty much it for Evo ish for the most part. So good, good stuff, good stuff, good Evo all around. And there's uh, bound to be more improvements, hopefully, uh, for next year. Yeah. Uh, so, with that, though, of course, there were announcements for Evo and outside of Evo, funny enough, and even before Evo. Um, let me open this up. Yes. So we did have. The teaser stuff for Terry, but I do just want to open up the. Uh, let me let me uh, close all these tabs. There we go. All right, based on the screenshots alone. Yes. Uh, quick round robin. How does he look for you? Okay. I'm gonna be honest. He does look pretty goofy, and he reminds me of Woody Harrelson. <laughs> I can see it. You? How, what do you think of Terry? I think he's kind of suffering from, you know, like, um. Uncanny Valley. Because. Yeah, the Uncanny Valley. And because Terry hasn't been officially in, like, you know, this type of, you know, graphic art style. Technically, kind of, yeah. He, what? Yeah. Well, he's been in 3D games, but he's, to be super realistic, no. Yeah, he, he hasn't been in this type of graphic side yet. So yes, 
his translation is not there yet. So, yeah. But again, this is just a, a teaser trailer. We're not right. so this is probably like an old model we're seeing. Maybe, yeah. There's always that possibility, sure. We do have till fall, but, right? It's yeah. coming in autumn, yeah. But overall, like he looks good. Yeah. Like I mean face wise, yeah, a little Tweet, yeah, no, maybe, everything yeah, no, yeah. everything else is fine. I like at certain angles when it, when you don't see his eyes and everything, he looks fine. Like his f effects and everything look great, but it's just the the face is the uh the elephant in a room. Which uh um, no, is no, it's not an elephant. It's the <laughs> it's the wolf in the room. Yeah, oh, yep, there you go. <laughs> So yeah, someone brought it up. Like, Why do you look like Woody Harrelson? And someone pasted his face onto Terry. <laughs> Great, yeah. you, you guys, you just you just gave Hollywood an idea. They're gonna make um, Woody Fatal Harrelson. Fury live action. They have action with, with Woody, Woody Harrelson. Harrelson. Yeah, it's like good job, good job, kids. What if what if Harrelson actually is a a KOF player? We just never knew it. <laughs> He's just like, all right, I'll, I'll take it. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> I'll play Terry. <laughs> He like fits right into the the thing like a glove. Like, okay. <laughs> uh, but I the the trailer of it, the trailer itself was like kind of cute. Like they had the outfits for um, uh, Joe, Higashi, and um, who was the other character? Oh, Blue uh, Blue Mary. But the they had a big miss opportunity, which was the hat. Like he threw this hat, right? And it was on the floor and he just picks back picks it back up. I wished Ken was the one who picked it up and threw it back at him. That would have been yeah. so like it's it's it was right there. The layup was right there, but I don't want yeah, I don't know. How, yeah. We, we gotta remind ourselves Ken is still on the run or it's true in hiding. In but hiding. True. But I wish they just they said fuck it in this one trailer and then do it, you know? Just for the sake of it. But yes, he, Ken is on the run, so it did not make sense, I guess. But still. I wish they did that. I wish they did that. Yeah, all we got to see was uh, his burning knuckle, and that's about it. And then I guess suppose, suppose, uh, apparently this, char uh, this character right here that he was fighting in the trailer was supposed to be a reference to an actual SK character in, like, um, Marco the Wolves or something, I forget. So. Yeah, his face is a little funky, but other than that, I mean, you know, it's Terry, right? It's, um, Terry's in the game. His body and everything looks fine. This, this shot looks fine. Like, it absolutely looks cool. Yeah. Right. The angle and everything was fine. But when you, once you see his face, yeah, that, that, that does kind of look a little funky but you see his face this is you right now just <laughs> <laughs> all right all right just terry with your hat oh, okay all right all right <laughs> but yeah when you go back and forth it's like oh my god i can't unsee it i cannot uns <laughs> it's basically what you Woody Harrelson with the RE engine. <laughs> you know, I can't help it. I cannot help yep. it. Um, is there anything else from that bit? I don't know. But anyway. Look. That's all we got, though, for that bit, because it was just a teaser. Yep. And then, quick word on Marvel vs. Capcom. Matsumoto, who is the producer for the collection, says maybe there is an opportunity for a new Marvel's Capcom and a new Capcom-based SNK game. If it were to happen, it would take time and effort to create those kind of games. But in short term, Capcom can reintroduce past legacy games to a new audience. Um, maybe in the future, if people can familiarize themselves with these series, then there may be a future opportunity for bigger games. Uh, blah, blah, blah. When asked about plans for UMVC3, there's a lot of things the team wants to do, and we have a lot of love for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, not just that, but other paths fighting games that might not be supported with rollback, 
and are available on the current platform there's a lot we are looking forward to and big dreams and uh, it's a matter of timing and seeing what we can do one step at a time so <laughs> I, I like this uh dr strange gif right there <laughs> right um so there is that you know hope and stuff like that 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 hopium right for a new marvel's capcom game but we have a long way to go because of disney and all that shit uh hopefully they won't they won't be like oh now we gotta make it uh make this make this like uh secret wars or something or um whatever you know that, just, that was a fucking mistake that is a mistake right unfortunately that they were forced at hand they right? were forced to do it and yeah they threw a lot of people under the bus yes including peter rosa's include uh aka combo fiend right you know that's why he had to say like the old like, yeah <laughs> in infamous line of the fun just functions they're just functions yeah yeah, I'm sure he had words to say about that situation, but he obviously he can't because it's you know he he had a job to do, you know. Yeah, he was um under uh, what was it? NDA or something? NDA contract, you know that shit, right? Yeah. But yep, there's that hope. Meanwhile, um, Samurai Jack was announced for multiverses, and yes, Phil Lamar is. Um, voicing the character. Day, another strange it is called a crossover. Waka, 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 waka. Yeah, boy! And now we begin. Another day, another strange battle. Test me if you dare. I just want to see our cool already. Right. I do like how they're keeping um, Samurai Jack's style mm -hmm. and not having the lines, you know, the outlines. Yeah. So I'm like, thank God you're not like disgracing, you know. Yeah. A really good like art style. Oh, and, and by yeah, the way, yeah, and, and Beetlejuice. <laughs> yep. Just like right there. No, no announcement. Just like, hi, I'm here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's showtime. Yep. Yeah. They did tease uh, Beetlejuice, I think, at one point, but yeah. He looks, he looks pretty good for multiverses terms. Yeah, he <laughs> almost looks like um, uh, Keaton's version. Well, yeah. Um, Tim, Tim Burton's. Mm -hmm, mm hmm. Trying to use that as reference. Yeah, so there he is, Bill Lamar, voicing the samurai once again. Right. Uh, nothing else for Beetlejuice though, other than that little little tiny teaser. Uh, but I guess yeah, Samurai Jack is a bruiser, which means he's a little heavy, ish, which is interesting. But I guess there's not enough bruisers in the game. Um, and that's about it. I don't know about his kit or anything like that. I don't think they've released anything about that, so there's still news to come. But yes, he has a sword. He's a sword character. <laughs> so people are gonna be like, "Oh, here we go again with the swords," you know, roll their eyes, you know. And a uh, little tidbit here: Warner Brothers uh, officially acquires the developer of Multiverses, which is a uh, player first games. So it's official at this point. If it hasn't been said already, I mean, I thought as much. I thought they're gonna be under you know the Warner Brothers umbrella already. But yeah, this this definitely seals it, you know. All right, so next, uh, we do have some SK stuff to go through. This is the biggest one I would say for me because they finally announced Vice and Mature in the same game, right? Which I don't don't think that was happened in a long time, but I could be wrong. But um, yes, yeah, it is happening. It is finally happening. So now we have the eight heads of Orochi. And uh, you can have this team as well. Team Yagami. Right? They are coming. Both of them are coming. Uh, which is kind of special. 
about this little DLC thing. Um, December of this year. So this was the special character that they were referring to uh, during that little uh, silhouette thing. And people were like, oh, you know, maybe it's the Street Fighter stuff. Since um, they announced, you know, Terry and Mai for Street Fighter 6. So they thought this is going to be like a crossover thing to kind of complete their deal. But nope, it is a, a pair of beloved KOF characters, which is Vice and Mature. You know, I remember when... Vice was included in uh, CBS2, but I thought it was weird not to include Mature because they're like a pair, you know. You can't have one or the other. It's like it's like having uh, Ryu without Ken for Smash, so that's why they put him in the Ultimate, right, for Ken. But, um, yeah. So, pretty cool. Uh, any comments about Vice and Mature? Or... I mean, it almost... You can tell they shop at the same store. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're like that pair, you know. They also look like the um, the rich aunties that, you know, just shows up once in the blue moon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Illuminantes, but they're like <laughs> the top pretty much. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? It, um, well, I guess it, wait, oh no, Rugal, Rugal is in the game too, so I think that works as well, because they were with Rugal at one point, so you can make that team, right, uh, so, yep, that's, uh, that was the biggest one, and then there were, there were more things during the, uh, uh, what do you call the SNK panel or event at Evo? And uh, during the interview, uh, one of the guys at SNK an announced a little, little, little teaser, little, little. They dropped something like a little shadow drop for a new um, art of fighting and a Samurai Showdown action RPG. So whatever that means, right? Is it like Dark Souls or is it like um? Uh, like a, something else, like Ninja Gaiden or something. We'll see. That'd be sick. Uh, more stuff. SVC Chaos. Uh, I believe is out, or it's close to out. I think. I think they were. They, yeah, yeah, it's out, right? So the, so yeah. as. So as they were announcing uh, Vice and Mature, right, they uh, snuck in the the uh, SVC Chaos uh, port, right? You know, it's kind of like um, that same similar level like uh, Marvel's Capcom Collection. You know, because it's a, another old game that's that has very strong niche and cult following. So this is basically kind of like a CVS2, but uh, this is from the SNK side of things. With the sprite art and everything. Yes, Zero is in the game. From Mega Man... Uh, Mega Man Zero, I think? It's from the Game Boy Advance one. And then... I guess there's more characters in here? Yeah, they're secret characters from the arcade version. And now they're um, readily available for um, the console version. So this is supposed to be Athena and then... Um, oh my god, his name is escaping me from Marvel's Capcom 3. Shit. <laughs> Which one? Oh. Um. Oh! Now... <laughs> Now his name, he's uh, um from Ghost Arthur, and Ghosts and Goblins. Oh. Yes, Goblin guy. Um, <laughs> no, shit. <laughs> oh god, my my head is just like.
Firebrand. Fire, Firebrand, thank you. Okay. But I think it's, it's called something else in, in this game, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. red, red, I mean, rear. <laughs> yeah, armor. Red armor, I guess. He's, bas he's basically kind of like um, Firebrand. But yeah. And then, yeah, SVC Chaos. Yeah, it's been out. Okay, so, but once again, not on Xbox. So it's like, hmm, something's going on with Microsoft, man. Some, 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 uh, unfortunate, right? They think, um, what you call Bethesda is gonna save them because remember, they, they Microsoft. But this yes. kicked like a lot of a lot of other um yeah devs out. yeah the layoffs and everything yes they <laughs> also bought um Activision so that they can have Call of Duty and all that shit so <laughs> and, and it's like you're just staring at them it's like so how's that um, acquisition going along right. <laughs> what <are> you mad? <laughs> it's pretty much like that. What they're preparing. Mad? Well, I mean, they're pre they're preparing um, Call of Duty to be on um, Game Pass, so that's gonna boost the numbers for Game Pass. And but uh, we'll we'll see how that sticks. God, it's so funny. This this poster is so funny because it's Terry on the on uh, uh in the as a as the main character oh. instead of Kill. Oh, what's up? What's up? So that that poster. Oh, were they giving you out? Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. Fuck it. You can have it, too. I don't want it. Dude, are you serious? Yeah. Hey, I'll, I'll take it, man. If you don't want it, I'll... Hey, man, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah. I take that. Take it. I already have this. True. Okay. You, you got the venom. Yeah. Imagine uh, when I did that. I, we heard a clap. It's like... The, <laughs> They all, oh god, <laughs> they, they all like, <laughs> oh shit, I forgot to almost play the sound. God damn it. I okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna just do it from, I'm just gonna do it from here. Hold on, I'll open it from here. I'll do it manually. Uh, there we go. <laughs> this battle is about to explode. Actually, this is an appropriate time to play because look, right here, <laughs> right here, right. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, hopefully they'll do a new um, Capcom versus SNK shit like in the future. I, I'd be down for that more than Marvel's Capcom for right now. And if Mar Marvel's Capcom have to come in later, then I can wait. You know. Yep. Yeah. Way right. later. Wait. What are you, you going to say? Well, let's say they did show and plan that they are making officially Marvel vs. Capcom 4. Yeah. As I told you and other people, mm -hmm. what City of the Wolves is doing in their art style, that should be how um, you should make Marvel vs. Capcom um, 4 look mm -hmm. like. Or you, re you bring back what the comic book, um, the comic book look from 3 but just make it more better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And then, again, yeah, when they do, if and when they do bring Marvel vs. Capcom 4, you can bring MCU characters, but do not base the Marvel characters strictly from MCU. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess they could, with the reboot that's going to happen after Secret Wars. Mm -hmm. So you can technically add, you know, mutants. I say for the game, do not have any ties to the MCU. The only ties I want to see to the MCU is just costumes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I say like, take, yeah, take the you, comic book route. Go, go full comic book. Yeah. If you're going to bring, like, let's say Magneto. Yeah. And an MCU look, either use um, Sir Ian McKellen's look from the X Men franchise or 
uh, fast bender, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, if or, they go with the '97 look, I, I'd be, I'd be down for that. That kind of Magneto, I would not mind. But yeah, I have the other two, um, McAllen or um, Fastbender. Yeah, wouldn't be too bad. Well, I can see them using the RE engine to try to make the Marvel versus Capcom game. I mean, they can to just like make it look because. I mean, or they can, because this game, like I'm pointing at his ass, yeah, is is using the current um, Unreal Engine, and it looks fucking gorgeous. Yeah, but you know how Capcom is, right? They want to show off the RE engine, right? So they probably would want to. They, they want to do it in house. Yeah, they want it with their own shit. So. Well, you know, one step at a time. Um, so I think we already clicked on that one, but I'm just going to do that just to check. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, just a quick little mention. Um, they did announce for, um, City of the Wolves, another character mm-hmm. named, uh, Kevin Ryan, right? And then also they just recently announced, um, Billy Kane. Yeah, Billy Kane. Yes. I'm gonna say this right now. I do not like Billy's look. Yeah, I, I I'm one of I'm, I I I miss his fucking bandana. Yeah, the that's bandana. How I grew up with. Yeah. I grew up with him with the damn bandana. Or or give him at least the um what was it? The suit. Mm-hmm. You know, that he had in one of those promotional yeah. art that yeah. he was with um geese. With geese. Yeah, the geese, yeah. Yeah. I think that's more Which, of a again, K- um, okay, yeah, go ahead. Unless it, is it in here, like somewhere with the Tekken stuff? Tekken stuff? Like, um, season, I mean, the next upcoming character, uh, Heiachi uh, returning. Right. But sorry, what, what are you, what are you trying to, uh, I was going to bring up like, um, it's funny. And Bison's back. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Heihachi's back. Mm hmm. Does that mean Geese is going to come back and go like, hi, guys? Right. I mean, it's funny because it says Geese's demise, right? New leader of Howard yeah. Connection after Geese's demise. I mean, at this point, who knows what, right? Because all these, like, fighting game bosses are, like, coming back, you know? And Bison, Heihachi has a recent. Geese, I mean, why not, right? Somehow. Somehow, Geese return. Mm-hmm. Maybe at one it's point like, Billy did have no bandana, but I don't know. I prefer with the bandana. But I prefer the bandana. Yeah. Go ahead. But it, it would just be funny, like in the cutscene, you know, Billy's like in the office of Geese, and then Geese mm. just kicks down the door and going like, mm. "You're in my seat, boy." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. So two characters got announced as of recent. So, but yeah, Guilty Gear though dropped the big ball here. Uh, I do have a video right here, but we'll just um kind of skim through it because it's just a concept up for the most art, uh, part. So I'm just gonna go right here. Have it on mute. Returning characters, yes. So we have Dizzy coming in as the queen, right? Of sorts. Yep. Queen well, Dizzy. The family's all together. Right. You're right. Family's all together. And then... A certain pool player, right? Billy, you know, p- billiards and all that stuff. Venom is back. Like, wow. Finally, right? I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed that he's not showing off his, um, his abs. Uh, it's yeah. covered. So yeah. It's like <laughs> true. It's like there's something on there's something on you, Venom. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> much better. <laughs> you know, he was at the bakery, but I guess he's like I know that that's the thing too. It's like something must have happened to be like 
we need your help. No, nope, mm-hmm. I'm past that. And then they must have said something like, I don't know, maybe one of the bad guys like said, fuck your bakery or something. He's like, no, fuck, you know, and then he just got pissed off. They're, eat, they're eating like his pastries and they're like, the store down the street tastes better. <laughs> uh, you assholes. <laughs> exactly. That's how it went. That's exactly how it went. And then there is um, Unika. This character is from the a- upcoming anime, so I guess this is a I guess you could say a brand new character for this story. And then, unexpectedly, guest character coming in, where Cyberpunk? Holy shit! Twenty seventy seven. Twenty seventy seven, and it's none other than Lucy from the show. Which uh, I'm cool with, but um, I kind of wish it was um, personally for me. I, I wish it was David, because David is the, the the real main character, right? And he has like you know a lot of stuff going on that could have been really cool for mechanics. Whereas Lucy is just like a hacker with um, whips, you know. Yeah. But of course she's the chick, right? So they'll pick her more likely, I guess. But David has so much more going on, as including the cyber psychosis stuff. That could have been well incorporated into the game of mechanics. That would have been so cool. But nah. He's he, he ain't a waifu. You know. He said he's a husbando, right? But he don't have the boobis. No, he did not he did not have a boobis. He did have pecs, but uh, you know, maybe maybe too much tech, man. Maybe too much tech. That's what happened. Cause he, he gets he gets blah after like there's, there's a time skip involved in with uh, Cyberpunk, the anime, right? Despite being like super short, they have a time skip for some reason. Um, and then he get, he he gets so much more tech in his body, like it's crazy. That's why he goes like super psycho, uh, cyber psycho, um, psychotic at one point. Yeah, because that does play a part in the uh, the lore for this Cyberpunk. Um. Like the more tech you use, the more lost you become uh, as a human, right? Where surprisingly, I'm su- disappointed that they don't really actually do that with the gameplay of the actual game, right? They it's in the lore, and people become psychos and stuff, cyber psychos, right? But y- your character doesn't actually become or doesn't suffer any sort of consequence. As a as a result of, you know, using too much tech or whatever. I felt like that would have been kind of interesting, like, but no. You just have Johnny Silverhand and uh, AKA Keanu Reeves. <laughs> That's pretty much it. But anyway, Yield to Give though with the Lucy, um, pretty cool. But I also did not expect for a guest character to be in here. So, um. So now we have, you know, Street Fighter and Guilty Gear busting out the guest character sort of card, right? Two games that I never thought would have done that, but there we go. Here we are. This, this is the age of doing something different, I guess. And uh, it's it's kind of sad because um, a character like Lucy made it into here before someone like Ragna. Or anyone from Blaze Blue made into a, a Guilty Gear game, right? Uh, as like a crossover of sorts, and they're both from, they're both from the same company, right? Arxis, right? But we got Lucy here. Um, but that's about it. Other than like new stages, new colors, um, that is essentially it. So, yep, we have Dizzy, Venom, Unica, and Lucy. That's all the characters we're going to get for uh, this upcoming season. Along with um, the 3v3 mode, right? That's already being, that's already being tested and stuff like that through uh, the beta, I th- believe, anyway. So, it's going to play like, um, like Dragon Ball Fighters a little bit. But um, online, you can have three players on each side. 
So it'll make for some very interesting content, including uh, Lythero, right? Because Lythero loves doing that stuff. Yep. So this is a perfect this is a perfect mode for someone like uh, Lythero for sure. So we'll see how that goes. I can't wait for for the um, animation edits that he's gonna slide in. Yes. Yes. Right. And on top of that, yes, we do have the animes coming up for uh, Guilty Gear as well. So, and this is uh, the art work for the uh, upcoming season, which is very interesting. It's dizzy, you know. I th I forget who who's the artist for this. I think it is Dicecape. I want to say, but I could be wrong. Because Dicecape also draws stuff too, on top of the music, you know, music stuff that he does. So, yep. Let's rock indeed. New season already happening officially. So the 3v3 mode is going to be coming up first, I think. And then the, the, the new characters are coming in. Um, I don't know if they announced the dates or whatever, the, the windows for each character. Oh, yeah, they did. Okay, okay. So Daisy is coming in first, October of this year. Venom will be next year, early next year. Right, right there. Unica is sometime next year, and then I'm guessing Lucy's gonna be summer of um, summer or spring of next year. Yeah, I wonder what they'll do with her to make her interesting. But I don't know. Maybe maybe they'll they'll include more characters from Cyberpunk as a part of her supers or whatever. But other than that, I think she's gonna just throw around whips and do some hacking stuff. But that's about it. Again, I wish it was David personally. That's just me. Maybe they didn't want another gun character. I don't know because <laughs> we already have Chaos and uh, what's her name, uh, Elfel. So maybe that's why. Other than the part that, uh, other than the fact that he's not a waifu, probably somebody's husband or somewhere. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Pretty cool though. Pretty cool. Um. But like Zawa said, no insta kills still. But Bird did point out that possibility that it's. Um, it could be not, it could be unlikely because of what Stripe is supposed to be in the first place, which is like, kind of like the, the accessible Guilty Gear. Well, again, we'll see. Meanwhile, uh, Rambo Fantasy did have its own news of DLC stuff, new stuff coming up. So we have a, <laughs> mm, sorry, what? Yeah, so you can doing the, what was it? Um, Spongebob on narrator. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile. This is an original character for the game. Uh, I have no clue who this is. So this is a brand new character. But all we know is that she is a giant. <laughs> She's a big character in the game. <laughs> Look at that. She's like... Really tall compared to someone like Bub. BL's a Bub. Even oh, a little taller than uh, Vasaraga, yeah. I think, or as tall. Sorry, what are you going to say? I think like, I was like, when we saw this, we like, Keter is, I mean, not Keter, Chris was going like, like ham. He was like, hey, happy. And I was like, no, oh, that's a woman. Yeah, that's a big demon woman. Yeah, she's supposed to be like a god or a primal. An amalgamation of everything that's d divine, I guess. Um... And then I think there's more story stuff, like maybe. And then, um, there's supposed to be more characters. Okay, so yeah, there we go. So yes, this character is coming in as well. Bikala, I think her name is, but she's essentially the uh, one of the the Zodiac generals, and she covers the mouse slash rat. So you know, you know, like Jackie Chan Adventures with the, the twelve yeah. talismans, yeah. So that she's the rat, basically. 
And yes, she's kind of supposed to be like an idol type of character trope. Um, and uh, she has her own, or she, she, this is her alter ego, and then she has a her actual ego, or whatever her actual character, which basically she's a normal ass girl. And then um, another character was announced. And this guy is Sandalphon. Sandalphon is supposed to be like the son of, or no, um, kind of like a like a apprentice or a protege of uh, of Lucifer. And Lucifer is one of the fallen angels. You know, you know the whole story, right? Uh, and there's Beelzebub, and then even um, Belial. Right. So those three are supposed to be like the big, like fallen angels kind of thing. Um, well, uh, well, Lu Lucifer uh, was like he was like the leader of um, the Prime Arcs, which also has more angels like uh, Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, and um, Raphael, I think. And then uh, Lucifer had Sandalphon, who basically is kind of like a, like a son slash protege, and he's supposed to be kind of like his su successor. So, so basically, he's a, he's an angel, and then he at some point unlocks his powers, and there's a whole story around it. Lucifer dies at some point, and um, but there's weird things about that because. Um, there's a character who looks like Lucifer, but quote unquote isn't Lucifer, but he pretty much acts and is like Lu Lucifer. So that whole thing is like, oh, who's, is he alive? Is he dead? Or I don't know. Like, it's, it's weird. He is, yes. Yeah, he is, yes. Beelzebub and Belial, who are both in the game for Versus, um, are, are basically like the bad guys for the story. Uh, for that for that saga anyway the the angel stuff right so that's kind of why uh Beelzebub and Belial are in the game because they're like actually pretty popular and yeah they're they're kind of significant in the story so that's yeah that's Beelzebub so yeah um so that's about it on that and then like i said this is a brand new character so i have no idea who this is but i'm pretty sure they'll include her in the uh, actual mobile game at one point she'll have her own uh i guess mobile mobile game version so yeah anywho um yeah two yeah it's funny uh two two characters are primal and then one of them is uh kind of human I, I don't know i forget what the the 12 generals are or the zodiac generals are i think they are just not they're not gods slash primals but whatever they're supposed to be uh pretty powerful though for humans slash whatever the else they are because there's drafts um the uh what do you call those um small people i forget what they're called in here um i know in final fantasy they're called something else but they're kind of like the equivalent um and then there's the the fox people and then humans of course uh but whatever i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm like getting lost anyway so Meanwhile, again, um, Mortal Kombat 1 just came out with their Chaos um, Season, Chaos Reigns, which essentially adds more story and more characters. And that, of course, includes... Um, well, I mean, well, I guess we can play this one for the sake of it. So hold on. Everywhere with anarchy. The 
This new havoc is different from ours. He doesn't want freedom. He wants to burn everything down. Let real warriors handle this. So you have female sector. Yeah. There is female, um, Cyrax. Noob Cybot. You sound like Behan. I am he, though not as you remember. What did Havoc do to you? He perfected me. Shang Tsung, now this havoc. This would be amusing. Will the threats from these titans never cease? Tell me, how do we escape this crisis? Did you tell me? No mistake, we are here because of your treachery. There will be blood. Then you like scary movies. Ghost face. T-1000 Conan the Barbarian <laughs> Enough talk <laughs> And then Maya from Killer Instinct mm. Don't worry about my dog. It doesn't bite. Mm -hmm. Oh. We got animalities back. I wonder who turns into a scorpion. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> scorpion. Sub zero. <laughs> That's pretty brutal. Melina, you're supposed to have sex with the with the male before you eat the head. <laughs> oh, I was. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what was this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then more outfits, all that stuff. Um, but the animalities is uh free for all players, so that's cool. Uh, when we don't know, I guess maybe they're out already. I don't know. That I don't know. But at least they're free, so good on them. So, what do you think of the uh, the guest characters? How do you feel about them? Kind of like guest characters are fine and dandy and all, but this is just getting. Close to dead by daylight. Um, shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. so what do, you, what do you, what do you, uh, what do you mean by that? Wait, wait, what, what are you, what are you going Like, with? you're adding essential, like, you know, like horror, horror, you know, characters and mm -hmm. just like other characters that would just semi fit in the, you know, in this, um, Mortal Kombat world, but it's like, right. Like, I kind of, um, let me try find that tweet that I I posted for um 
the tiff. Hmm. I think it was like a, a day ago or something. Essentially, it, it, it's like, yeah, um, guest characters is fine and dandy, but don't. But to me, it looked right here. I think it, no, wait, no. That's the wrong one. I wanna. I almost read the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> that would have make sense. Anyways, it, it was pretty much like saying that this feels like um, WB is just throwing um, their IPs into shit so they can keep holding on to the, um, the mm-hmm. IPs. You know? Okay. Because there's always that, like, in order to own an IP, you're supposed to do something with it for a um, set amount of years. So yes. I'm guessing with like Ghostface, so the Scream franchise. Uh, let me check who owns the Scream. Spyglass Media Group, which is Paramount, which is a is owned by Paramount. Which mm-hmm. I think Paramount is owned by WB. Like a partnership. Anyways, it's just it feels like that. Like right now, they're just using their IPs or um their uh, partnership in, in ways that they can keep you know keep it. These properties, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like I don't get Ghostface. Why is he there? <laughs> I can I can I can understand um, Conan because you know he's a barbarian, right? He could, he, you could easily say that this Conan was from Outworld. Yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, the T one thousand, it's future tech, so yeah. So maybe Skynet is like, hey, well, <laughs> well they can time travel and all that stuff too, so yeah. you can play around with that as well. Portals, you know, dimensions, that all that stuff. But yeah, I think Ghostface is kind of the the um the elephant in the room, so to say, the oddball. But I think they just wanted to keep the theme of like or the streak of having horror characters in their games. So I guess it's time for Ghostface to uh you know to make his sort of debut, I guess, or not debut, but like get that get that Mortal Kombat spotlight because at this point well there i think there's definitely are still choices for horror characters right you know but um hmm right i am a little mixed on ghostface you know i wasn't ever like super attached to him did i dress him dress him up dress up as ghostface at, uh at, during halloween at one point yes I even had the what do you call the 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 bloody quote unquote bloody um mask. Like you know, like you you can like squeeze the little heart thing, and then like the blood just you know just pours through the the mask. Yeah, yeah, I had one of those. It was uh, it was fun. I did. I think at one point it did leak a little bit. So like the the food coloring, like like you can like see it on my on my head <laughs> by the end of the night. Um, well, you know, that's like the, the one memory I do have with, uh, the Scream franchises, you know, watching the movie and having to dress up as Ghostface, uh, for Halloween. But that being said, in Mortal Kombat terms, I think there are better choices for sure. Right. If we are going to go for the horror route still. Um, I mean, mm, I mean, I know, I know, Freddy's been done already, but I kind of wish Freddy wasn't here again just to see him like in the more modern setting, like the with the update and modern everything, setting and mm-hmm. the more um, Up, update, better, yeah, like kind of like a better um, mechanic, mechanic wise, yes, yeah. Um, and not, I mean, not, not just, ho- like, not even horror, like, even, like, it's just, like, characters from, like, 
the violent side of, of um video games you know we had we had kratos at one point in mortal kombat 9 right that could have been kind of cool to see right include some of the violent characters in here because i don't know what the what, what the hell are they gonna do with ghostface you know are they going to just have him do the Jason stuff? Like, you know, go through the fog and come out of the fog kind of thing? Or, um, who the hell knows? What, what, what is this gimmick going to be? Right. Frank calling you. Frank calling. Yeah, exactly. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. What, what the hell are his uh, fatalities going to be like? Just, you know. Someone, someone did point out a funny, like, possibility for a costume, and it's the, uh, the one from Scary Movie, where he's like, what's that, you know? <laughs> As, like, one of his masks. That'd be pretty funny. But, um, that being said, at least we, they ha we have new Cybot and the female Cyborgs, right, coming into here. Um... There are probably some mixed feelings like, oh, you know, why are the male ones not in here? They're just the, the assists, right? And then we have this, the female ones. Like, why? You know? But that I don't care too much because I'm not that big of a MK fan. I'm like a more casual MK fan. But uh, new Cybot looks pretty cool. Right. Um... And, you know, like, I, you know, the other two, I'm fine with them. I think they look pretty great as well. Robert Patrick's face is recreated faithfully, along with Arnold's. I do wonder, though, if they'll actually include Arnold this time around, or they're just going to have the same voice actor from uh, Eleven when he voiced uh, the, T8, uh, the T-800. Or, you know, a.k.a. the Terminator, right? That we'll have to see. Um, but other than that, uh, I would say it's kind of, this, this DLC is kind of a mixed bag, like mostly on the good side, but also like it could have been better with the choices, uh, yeah. mostly on Ghostface, right? Some people love it, right? But, um, I, I think there were better choices. I think there were, I think there were, uh, there, there could have been someone else that to, uh, take that spot. And then, again, to the, uh, what you want to call them? Some people making a big, uh, poop love, everything. There are a lot of people saying negative comments about Cyrex and you know, Sector. Mm hmm Saying that, oh, it's just a cop-out, or the gender bin is, is boring and stuff. It's like... And when people say, you know, this is just a, it's a brand new timeline. It's a restart of the entire franchise. And people are like, oh, that's just a lazy way, lazy way of writing. It's like, that's exactly what the fucking timeline is. It's brand new. Yeah. It's different. Right? <laughs> so. It's like, I bet you you're the same people that complains about Miles Morales mm -hmm. calling himself Spider-Man. Right. Right. Like, I'm fine with it. Right, yeah. It's not, he be physically. Mm-hmm. So if you don't like the character, then they'll fucking play the damn thing. But, uh... Right. But that must be hard for some people. Uh, I like this comment right here. I just I just remember that Peacemaker, right? There's Peacemaker in the game. And remember, who's his, who's his dad played by? Robert Patrick, right? So I, I I hope they make a good joke out of that. <laughs> Ooh, dad? Yeah, right. Say like dad. Mm. <laughs> right. Um, what's this? Oh yeah, new Cybot sponsored by Monster Energy. Yeah, he kind of looks like a Monster Energy drink, <laughs> basically. Um. <laughs> the wind pose is going to be. Have you seen this boy? <laughs> Uh, um, 
me see. Yeah, you know, basically somebody pointed out the horror games or the horror character stuff. Um, luckily, I'm not seeing the complaints here about the cyborgs too much. It's probably on Twitter. That's likely where you see all that complaining and shit. <laughs> Oh, yes, I also read about, like, um, oh, yeah, is, are the animal animalities going to be for everyone, or is it just going to be for, like, main characters? That's what I wonder. Um, where was it? What was that really, like, funny comment? Oh, yeah, my brain does not physically allow me to see Ghostface doing air combos on Omni Man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there is a charm for that. There is a charm to these guest character things because you can see, like, the really impossible shit come to reality. Like, Ghostface fighting Omni Man, of all people. Like, I think the last... the. The, the first DLC pack was pretty cool because Homelander and Omni Man. Right. The only weird thing, yeah, is Peacemaker, but that's. It's kind of understandable because at the time, Peacemaker was pretty popular. He was just making peace. <laughs> yeah, just making peace, man. Okay. All right. So that's it on the. Um, Mortal Kombat side of things, and also, in fact, the um, fighting game side of things. Apart from, yes, Takeda was revealed before Evo, and he is out now, and he looks pretty cool. He looks pretty cool fighting, so. It's mostly his, uh, what do you call his whiplash style from MKX. There's no um, plasma swords, or you call them pulse pulse blades, and then... Um, yeah. Uh, and then the Shi'ai Ryu stuff is already built into um, his, his new kit. his kit anyway. So it's like, all right, but no pulse blades. But he does have the uh, the bat the battering uh, ninja stars. Those make their return with Takeda. So, I've seen some uh, crazy stuff uh, even even now already. Thanks to like ketchup, I think it's either ketchup ketchup or mustard that put up those videos. And then you have Max, of course, trying out Takeda. So, uh, but yep, there is some stuff elsewhere, but we'll try to like get through these quickly as possible. So, um, or in fact, I think we can uh, leave out a number of these things for next time. And just in case, like, you know, we have a dry side or the, uh, next week it's dry and we just kind of like bring this up once again, but I do want to like, at least mention them to some extent. So, um, what's this one? So for frontline side of things yeah Donald Trump's back on Twitch he got unbanned you know that happened their quote was we believe there is value in hearing from the presidential nominees directly so depending on who you are or what you what your uh political what your stance is what your stance is yes it's a good or bad thing right and then meanwhile, yes, during Evo, especially Sunday, Joe Biden announced his uh, essentially outage on his second yeah. term run. So he is out for uh, re-election. So he will still be president for the rest of this term, but the next yeah. term, no. So it is likely going to be Kamala Harris, but it's not still like set in stone, I don't think, anyway, right? Is that yeah. correct? So, yeah. He, I mean, right now, it, it is, like, leading towards Kamala. So, it's like, no. Uh, okay, we have a few months more. Right. Let's see how time writes. Yes. But what was more funny, I, I don't know if you saw the tweet, but someone is trying to sue Joe Biden. Really? For dropping out. Because, you know, they have the Let's Go Brandon or Dark Brandon fucking meme shirts and shit. Mm. So 
So they're going like, oh, because of you dropping out, um, you know, I wasted all this money for all this merch, you know, to sell. Like, oh my God. That's your fucking damn fault. Right. Yeah, that's not on Joe. <laughs> that's on your ass. <laughs> The guy is the guy is too old. That's just the, the, that's what it is, man. That that guy should have seen that coming. He's too old. You know, that's all I can say about that. But anyways, yes. Like, oh, oh, go ahead. Go it's ahead. like I'm sorry if you wanted like an old person to be a what you might call president. I don't know. Fucking, who's the most like, who was it? Oldest living person right now? Pretty much what? Victor Van Dyke right now? <laughs> you know what's crazy? Fucking uh, Jim, Jimmy Carter is still around. Yeah, Jimmy Carter is still around. He's still yeah, around. He must be, he, he must be like rolling, like. Like Jesus, like just going like mm, these young, <laughs> these young links. Yep. Yep. Well, with Joe, man, you you can see it in him, man. It's pretty obvious that he's too old for this for this shit. <laughs> Simply put. Simply put, man. I think honestly, though, that is the smartest thing he he can do, because he no, it's too much. It's too much, man. What's also too much here is this. Uh, Overwatch. There are weapon skins now. Mythic weapon skins. And uh, apparently this costs 80 bucks. If you want to get it. God damn, Blizzard, what are you doing? Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's because they're they're fucking losing money. Right. They're losing yeah, they just don't know what to do, man. So there are different levels, right? You can unlock you have to unlock uh levels, right, to get everything on the axe. It's kinda like um from Valorant with the 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 gun skin, you know, the dragon one. That costs like 125 bucks apparently to get everything. Here, if you want to get everything, here's 80 bucks, I think. It's like, bitch, it's just a weapon skin. I'd rather get an actual full game. Or fucking fly it. Well, don't do it, but I'll fucking fly it to a gotcha game. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Probably get lucky and get the um, new unit and I'm zenless. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well. That's your, that's your money, but uh, I am not spending my money on this axe. For, that's for sure. Like, I was glad that I had enough fucking, um, I don't, I don't know what it's called, Overwatch coins to mm -hmm. just buy the Megatron um, skin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just call it a day. It's like, hey, done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, I don't know if it's part of, the, in another tweet, fucking, they're bringing back 6v6. Are they really? Yeah, so it's like, what's the point then of Overwatch 2? You were trying to get away from 6v6. Right. But now you're bringing it back? Oh, no. We're only bringing it back as a, uh, oh, like a short-term thing. Limited time? Yeah. yeah. Limited. It's like, no. It's it's going to come back. Like, All right here. Yeah, it's right here. It says perspectives on IP5 and 6v6. Jesus Christ. Yeah, let's try to be quick like, about it. But yeah. But yeah, wow. it's, it's just saying pretty much like, yeah, we... We don't know what we're doing with this game. Um, right. We're losing money. We need more players. It's like, no. Yeah. You had your players until you said that the PvE fit was scrapped. Mm hmm. Don't make it sound like it was such an ambitious thing. It's like, no. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. All right, moving along. Um, this is the Olympics, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so they voted yes, pretty much. The IOC is a, has officially voted yes on creating the Olympic esports games. So yep, yeah, it's official. 
we live now in a time where playing video games can be an Olympic sport. All right. You're right. I'm calling it Sonic Fox. <laughs> yeah. You're going to see a lot of the Japanese players, right? Daigo, Fu uh, Fudo, blah, 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 you know? New, all the new fresh blood and everything. Pretty sure they'll include all the, like, the Call of Duty stuff. I think right now there is some games, but it's like, it's like chest and like, which is weird, but okay. Um, and a couple of other things, but that's about it. But hey, if they include uh, fighting games, man, hey, I'm all for it. That'd be great. You know? Will there be shit talk from the older folks? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Got those boomers. You know. Angry about it. We're also angry about something is voice actors. They are now doing the uh, SAG strike. SAG after strike. Um, in video games. So this is... Uh, it's previously, it was for movies and such. <clears throat> now... Um, they're going after video games because yes, it is a problem in video games as well. Uh, any thoughts on this? Let's hope it's not like a freaking running around the bush, just cut straight through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, just like video or just like with movies and such, um, companies where are, were, are looking into like AI shit, you know, doing doing the work for them, which leaves out the real workers, right? The real actors, which is problematic, like I've been saying. And um, they're not going to stand for that, of course. So they're on strike. So hopefully they are negotiating on agreeable terms, but we'll see how fast that can get taken care of. Um. And for those who are worried about certain big projects, apparently GTA 6 is not affected by the strike. Their words, not mine. All right. Video game news or games news. Uh, Honkai Star Rail announced a collaboration with Fate Stay Night. Very, very um, out of left field and big because, um, you know, Fate giant franchise in the anime world and then uh star rail has been like the up and coming uh game you know for from hoyle it's like again you know genshin can never <laughs> right it's like that meme right um what would what do you make of that which servants are going to make it that's not fucking saber right Saber is already locked in, right? But um Archer, aka um Amia. Yeah, Amia, yeah. Well fuck it. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be alternate Amia, future Amia, whatever. Um I hope Ku can make it in there. Ku Kuku Lane. No, you don't want Ku because he's gonna be a a, a little against cannon. He'll be like, look at my damage. <laughs> <Ech. Whoa. laughs> Like motherfucker. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a sp specifically unlimited blade works, which is kind of interesting. But um, <laughs> Bazaka. <-ka -ka. laughs> yeah. If it was, it's a it was... berserker. Mm -hmm. It's a berserker class, but it's a car. Uh, well, what was the um the silly one or whatever the comedic one called? Fate Grand uh, Phantasma or whatever it's uh, called. A fate, fate Carnival. A oh, Phantasm Car Carnival. Yeah. Carnival Phantasm. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, 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 that's what it was. Carnival Phantasm. Thank you. I wish it was this one. <laughs> it was this collaboration, right? That would have been funny. But no. Um, a, a limited Blade Works is definitely a thing. So, I, it, so yeah, it has to be Archer, right? It has to be... Um, also, I, I can definitely see uh, what's his face, uh, Gilgamesh, right, being um, pullable because he's super popular and powerful and 
Fuck it, it's Yoga Mesh. Um, maybe Caster has a chance. Rider more, a little more, because Rider's a little more popular, I think. You know, aka well, Medusa. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, it's her. <laughs> it's her, yeah, it's Medusa. Um, yeah, that's about it. Like, I don't know how many characters they'll throw in there when it comes to banner stuff, but just for the story, because this, this is coming out quarter three of next year. So that's going to be a long time. Um, what usually happens, because they, 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 they did this with uh, Honkai at Third Impact and uh, Evangelion. And that took them a year. They had a full-blown story and, and uh, the one banner with Asuka for some reason. I don't know why Asuka, but whatever. I mean, she's popular, yes, but I don't know why one banner, but... Uh, I hope they do more than just that. Maybe at least two. So that means um, uh, Saber, of course, that's locked in. Probably another female, which is a uh, Medusa, aka Ryder. Mm -hmm. If not, then I hope um, either Emya or uh, Gilgamesh. Right, if they're only gonna pick two banners or two characters. But they're also going to do a full story. They have to do a full story for this, right? A full story event. And now, obviously, we'll have, like, you know, Amia and Rin, Sakura, um, maybe Shinji. <laughs> that fucking piece of shit. <laughs> and then, of course, Cult of Mine. Cult of Mine has to be in it because he's, like, the villain. Right. Too bad it's not the other um, Fate Stay. Yeah. I forget the first one was called. Um, I think I think it was just it, I think it was just Fate Stay Night. Yeah, it was just Fate Stay Night. Yeah, because that because that one is a, so supposed to be um when you pick Saber as your waifu, I guess. <laughs> and then Unlimited Blade Works is when you pick Rin. As the one, right? Yeah. So Rin has to be in the story for sure, right? Um. But, <laughs> I mean, if they're gonna do like a story, and they have, let's say they have Berserker. Yeah. So what if it's um, Elidia? You see her, right? Yeah. But her eyes are gouged, are cut. Oh, and that is so you're just seeing her just sitting in um berserker's lap and she's just greeting you mm -hmm. but for some people they're like who is this child and it's like oh <laughs> don't watch that fight <laughs> actually that wasn't even a fight that was just that was a slaughter Gil being yeah. being a bully a bully that was just a a bully bullying yeah, I can see you know, Yulia and Kabla uh, being like friends. Yeah, Clara. Yeah, Clara um, is kind of like a reference to uh, Ilya, like a loose reference. And then, and then this robot is uh, wow, so Savarog. Savarog. So, so what, you, hmm? what you're saying is that later on in, in this um, game's life, she's going to meet the same faith. <laughs> no. Oh, there's gonna be an asshole that's voiced by the VA of Gilgamesh, and is like, "Oh dear, I know where this is going." That'd be kind of awful, but at the same time, it's like, "All right, I get it." But it's like, "Oh," because Clara's like, it's "Like she didn't do nothing to you. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing this?" Yeah, because Clara is a this is like you know that character you want to protect. You know, she's really cute, whatever, right? She was also my first five star, so I do have that little attachment. But anyway. Yeah, I, I wish her and uh, Ilya can meet. That would be pretty funny. Right. I can also see them, like, let's say they have, like, a special, like, interaction. Or they have a special um, cutscene. And they they do a little uh, Maho Shoujo, like, little pose. And you just see, um, you know, 
in the um in her little um Maho Sojo like Sailor Moon outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like okay, your turn. Oh, you can't do that, can you? Mm-hmm. Let me do. It. Let me right. help you. <laughs> right. That'd be pretty funny. That'd be pretty funny. Yeah, the the big robot for those who are curious is that's Savarog. He protects her. You know, there's a whole story behind it, but yeah. He uh took took care of her ever since she was like a little little baby, little little child or whatever. So Um this the par the parallels are really funny though, because you have Berserker and then Ilya and then Clara and Savarog. It's kind of funny. Uh so yeah. That's the collaboration going to happen for next year. So thanks, Type Moon. Oh, but it also says UFO table on the bottom, too. So that means we're probably going to get some sort of um, anime out of it or short anime out of it. Some, like, shorts, you know? Animated shorts. So hopefully they'll uh, come out cooking for sure. ZZZ, try to be. I'll try to be quick with this. Had a lot to say about the player feedback. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of shit. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, they had a lot to say about the feed. Or yeah, they had a lot to say about the feedback, including the TV mode being not great for storytelling. So they're addressing that, and then the combat experience. They're gonna address that as well. So hopefully they'll have more, right? And then the manual chain attacks. You can cancel chain attacks in the future. Um, more content, the what do you call it, UI stuff, um, better storytelling, and then have fairy um, pick up the rest of the stuff that you didn't pick up later on, in case you missed anything. Uh, yeah, team loadouts, and then. Oh yeah, you can adjust the time, the in-game time freely in the future. Yeah, and that's the thing too, because I had a uh, um the blue quest, the side quest. Yes. That it wouldn't uh, fucking like continue unless it was midnight. Mm -hmm. And yes. because I'm just farming, and you know, time passes. Fucking once I'm done farming, let's say I was in the um, HIA. Um, area, you know, yeah. just farming. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's go to sleep. It's like no. I was just. It's like I did not consent to this. Yep. And then plus, uh, when you obtain said agent, you can play as them in the uh the city instead of just Wise and Bell. That's a the Lord Jesus. Right, but that that's also um very bad. Oh, 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 the the Lycon um, lovers, oh mm -hmm. my gosh, daddy. But mm -hmm. no, I will be the better man. I will use Ben. <laughs> Just <laughs> big as a fucking bear. <laughs> Just like... Hi there. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Yep. <laughs> Here, hold, hold this. Hold, hold this pillar. Hold <laughs> this pillar. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you're going to address a yeah. lot of things, so... Is there anything you want to be addressed specifically, or no? Did you did you like have more, you more different more different kind of like chain combos like mm. yeah the cancel chain combo but to me personally because some of the animations look like you can do it like if you hit your your character swap hmm. fucking if a you launch an enemy in the air fucking have air attacks air combos. That's another thing, too. Yeah. And I wish, like, for Arena, like, yeah, she she does this, and then she makes the rainfall. I wish instead, like, after a, f a few, you know, like, a different, like, if you do, like, let's say, s three squares and your, your special, it's like, one, two, three, and then your special, you launch them up. Mm -hmm. So instead of your your electricity got raining down, you launch them up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, some like make the animations a little bit more like appealing or more instead of just the same. Old, yeah. Like, shit. 
I I, I get it. It's it, it, um it's very simplified combat. Um uh, in comparison to like what you are used to with like other action games like you know Devil May Cry, Bayonetta, you know all that shit, you know. Very very simplified with mobile in mind type of thing. But uh hopefully to do a little more to spice it up a bit cuz yeah. You know. I like the parrying stuff. It's like very satisfying when you land it, especially when you like parry a big ass monster and stuff and you hear that ding. <laughs> you know. That's pretty cool. But yeah, hopefully they address something like that. But the TV stuff, yeah, that's Yeah, the TV awful. Like I've been seeing myself with the TV stuff holding well for me the X button to just fast forward the damn thing. I'm like Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it really interrupts the pacing of the story, in my opinion, visually, anyway. But, um, hopefully they'll actually have you explore the world, you know, as you go through. It's basically like they should just do the rally stuff, the rally missions. That's literally what they need, just need to do. Obviously add more level, like level designs to it, yeah, but, um... The rally stuff is kind of a good start. Oh yeah, and then they also mentioned that they're gonna improve some of the modeling for the some of the characters. I don't know if, how far they'll take it with that, but yeah, that's what they said. Um, they're gonna have um, summer swimsuit uh, skins. <laughs> that's what everyone hopes, man. But for some reason, oh, they yes, are. Hmm? It's like, oh yes. For some <laughs> reason. Yeah. We'll be thrown at. <laughs> that yeah. Shit. I think they've done it for Honkai. Uh, third Impact, but not no none of that for um, Star Rail and Genshin Impact. Ish. Well, no. Okay. They did, but they hardly do it. Like, that's the thing. So hopefully, Zenless will be the game where they're just like, fuck it. Summer outfits. Be, be fucking gen degenerates and buy them. Whatever. You know? Yep. They go all out. And actively, too. Like, add more outfits as the game goes along. But, yeah. Um, but good on them for actually, like, taking, back feed taking feedback and actually, like, be active with it. Unlike Genshin. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so... It's, ah, man, it's so night and day. It's, like... It's so weird of how Genshin acts towards the community and they're like are, yeah it's like they don't it, I mean, it's from you know watching hearing and stuff it's like they they're not even being thankful at this at this point in time that genshin was the one that brought them the money and they're not even showing any remote any type of love mm -hmm. to it it's just like yeah it gave us money but look at this one. Right. That's really all they care is. It's just about the money. Right. As long as the game is still making them money, they're really not going to do much to change it. Other than, other than stuff on their own volition, but that's very much it. it they haven't really done much. Um, but anyways, what, um, uh, meanwhile, if you're like a Marvel fan, there's been talk about this whole like ass controller thing with Deadpool and Wolverine. <laughs> People want it so bad. But apparently it doesn't look like Yeah. Yeah. Apparently it looks like that. <laughs> it looks like just cheap plastic. <laughs> I still tap that. Yeah, I think the ass is like removable, which is funny enough. <laughs> but yeah, people really want this controller though. That and the uh the Wolverine version. Uh by the way, I heard that uh that movie is doing very well. 
Uh, I think I'll see you next week. Yeah, I'll try to see if I can catch you on the Monday or Tuesday of next week, but we'll see. It, it just depends on how tired I am. <laughs> so, all right, try to get through these real quick here. Um, so the boys, yes. Um, season five is being written at the moment. It will have eight episodes coming in 2026, lightly, likely. Gen V season two is coming up, is being filmed now, aiming for a 2025 release. But for the other ones, there's apparently going to be The Boys in Mexico, starring Diego Luna and Gael Garcia Barnell, uh, producing the show. Excuse me. I don't, know, I don't know if they're starring in it, but they're producing the show, apparently. Uh, no pilot written at the moment. And then for one, uh, one more even, for The Boys... There is going to be a spinoff featuring um, Soldier Boy and Stormfront set in the 1950s, exploring the early exploits of uh, Soldier Boy and a soup that you know as Stormfront. Only uh, advice for, for now is to keep your hands off the fucking shield. <laughs> That's from the, uh, the boys' Twitter account. Uh, any comment on the boys' stuff? It's more on the Gen V. He's a good actor. I just don't want to see more of... I don't want to see the deep. Enough. Like, did you see that um, stuff? Like, the deep is going to show up in season two of Gen V. Oh, I didn't hear about that, no. Yeah. So, apparently, he's going to show up in there. And I'm like, he's a good actor. Just no. Because right. in my mind, it's like, your face is fucking pummeled. Mm -hmm. unless, unless unless um mother's milk fucking did something to your face then <laughs> fucking by all means come on down mm. yeah it's the deep i don't know <laughs> uh, if you're gonna put the deep you better bring his husband wife thing <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> No, go go watch the go watch uh, the boys, See, everyone. Yeah, season four, especially. My God, I'm not telling you what episode to watch, but just watch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's something. It is something. Oh, this one's got oh. deleted. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Someone got in trouble. All right, so for One Piece, uh, I guess Japan did. Oh, uh, Officially declared July 22nd as One Piece Day. That was like the Monday right after Evo. <laughs> Funny. This Evo, I mean. Uh, I can't hear Luffy. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. giggling right now. Right. Meanwhile, unfortunately for Warner Brothers, or unfortunately for people who like Warner Brothers stuff, Warner Bros. Discovery is considering splitting in half. The studio would split into two companies, for one for streaming and one for, uh, oh, no, studio assets, excuse me. And the other one is for cable network assets. And then people were like, so what's the point of this whole merger thing? And all the tax layout, or the tax write offs, the layoffs, canceled projects, and trauma of a place in the industry. You know, at least somebody said. It's like, dude. What are you doing? WB don't know what the yeah, the WB don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. They think they know what they're doing, but they don't know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. And then speaking of the Olympics, right, as it's happening right now, some somebody from the uh Beyblade staff wants it to become a <laughs> Olympic sport. <laughs> I... But why though? I'm surprised it actually is still going, the Beyblade stuff. People still play uh, Beyblades. Like in Japan and everything, they still have like the new ones. I know like Jabalian, like other people like to play it at their tournaments or whatever, just for the fun of it, but I am still surprised it's still going. Like they have the shows and they have the merch and the toys to sell these things. 
So, hey man, I like my Beyblade Bay and all, but I have not kept up with the new shit. My God, it's like Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, my God. The and 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 the. And the did I mention that the character designs are just what the fuck <laughs> am I looking at? You know? You. What is you? Um unfortunately, uh I think I don't know if we talked about this or not, but yeah, anyway. Jamie Lee Curtis is not going to be playing as Dr. Kureha in the live action one piece. So Unfortunate. Um, can I, can't say I'm surprised. She is a pretty busy person. But I think she did, did say at one point she wanted to, right? Like she likes she likes um, video games and anime stuff. So seeing her as Kureha would have been cool, but uh, she is busy playing as. Um, Tannis in, uh, what was it, the uh, Borderlands, the movie. So, you know, it sucks, but I can't say I'm surprised, so. Uh, where are we right now? Oh, yeah, so we're here. Oh, yeah, Halo is canceled. It's on Paramount Plus anyway, so. What do you know, right? <laughs> are, are you surprised, Zawa? <laughs> surprised that it fucking lasted us. That's the first season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Doggies. All right. All right. Round two. Uh, I mean, season two was getting there, but it was like, it's like, wow, you actually kind of understand what makes Halo, Halo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not good enough yet. Yeah. You got it. You, well, you were getting there. Right. But it was a little too late, unfortunately. So it's not on Paramount yeah. Plus anymore. So... Maybe Netflix will pick them up, but we'll see. Maybe Amazon. I don't know. Although Amazon has something else in mind, I'm sure. But yeah. And then we had a trailer for Ramna, um, which I did take a look at. It's actually kind of nice. It's like a combination of the the old style and the new and the new. So Ramna half is uh, looking pretty good. Just judging from this little clip right here, this uh, little trailer right here on Twitter. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the trailer in particular, but um, just briefly from watching, yeah, it looks, yeah, it looks good. Um, I don't know. A lot of people are kind of worried because um, it's Mappa. Mm hmm. That's doing studios, and if you know Mappa, they kind of have a little um, yay and nay streak. Like some, you can tell like some uh, animations are really good, and then others, you know, they kind of like cut the corner. Cut the corners. Yeah, they have so a lot. Yeah, they're like, doing they're doing a lot. That's why they have a lot on their plate. So hopefully, like they focus a lot on on Mao. Um, one half. half. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But again, like I, I'm gonna watch it because it, it's mostly the entire cast from um the old the first one. time around. Yeah. The old one, yeah. Yeah, it's it, it seems which again mm -hmm. it, it's it's gonna be weird hearing Inuyasha again coming out of Ramon's mouth. 
Yes. <laughs> Who, by the way, uh, is the same voice, I believe, for Usopp, so. So there you go. <clears throat> All right, lastly. Um, the trailer for Terminator did also drop as Terminator. well. Terminator. <laughs> um, did drop as if well. I <laughs> if I don't hear, if I don't hear one, mm -hmm. I'm like done. <laughs> yeah. I am a inside board. <laughs> Uh, let me see. I'll just play the video, not the audio. Just we're just gonna just skim through the visuals, you know. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Production IG. Yep. Yeah. So you know, it's backed by a good studio. Yes. What? Why? That's the question. Good question, but um, they are covering the future stuff, the actual future war. Yeah, which again it brings to the question like, where in the timeline does this take place? Yeah. There's a Terminator, or at least a Terminator. <laughs> like it looks pretty good uh, just on its own you know it's just, it is just weird though to see terminator being an anime you know <laughs> I, I think that's the only thing that's like kind of like uncanny in a way how many ass shots are we gonna get in this um anime Right. And no, we're not talking about the females. It's the Terminator's ass. <laughs> gonna be like that meme of that um guy hiding behind the tree. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the the black dude. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, some of the detailing is like okay. You know, it's not like highly detailed for like, especially this part, but I'm sure like the motions and everything, when everything's moving, will be, um, will be good. Yep. It is kind of violent already, so it is going to be one of those like mature enemies. Rated M too mature. Yeah. So yeah, it's called Terminator Zero. So this is like, I don't know. I don't know if this will be like uh, one to one with like, you know, does it have like Kyle Reese? Does it have John Connor? Like, is it completely different people? Like, we don't, you know. It's just, it's just, it's like a different part of Earth at this time during the, uh, the future wars, you know. Judgment Day, right. How long after is it? So it is a little confusing on the timeline terms. Are they gonna go back in time? Maybe. Will I actually watch it? Who knows? But eh, I mean, interesting. We'll see. <laughs> but there's other anime I like to watch over this one anyway, though. But Maybe, maybe one day I'll, 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 uh, give it a, get a, give it the old gander, but yeah. Hey, it's Terminator. Can't go wrong with it, I guess. We'll see. Yep. Uh, but that's it. I think that's it. We like lightning round everything. So, all things considered, uh, a little shorter than I expected. <laughs> I thought we were going to be talking about Evo for like longer, but no. I think we did a good job on that part. Uh, so, yep. That is it from us. That's all we got. Um, anything else? Any 
wrap uh words to wrap up this uh hypecast episode including like evo want to watch me waste a hundred dollars on jesus list. christ <laughs> oh they want to see me do it again <laughs> you 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 were also i mean I, I think you mentioned it but you were you were on that uh what do you call the um uh, the slot machine yeah you were on that slot machine man <laughs> it's cranking and cranking and cranking man but now i now i know what to look for when you're playing slots what what is your one number one tip you say from your experience for slot machines um just look around mm -hmm. like the slot machines or you know just gambling machines in general just look around right um if there is a machine you want to play but your gut is saying no don't play it mm -hmm. and i guess for like just be careful like if you are starting to win, you're going to form a line behind you. Those people are going are you know very superstitious when it comes to gambling. Oh, this this person's winning so much. The moment they leave, you know, I'll try and jump on on their luck and stuff. Right. And don't go max bet on the first go. You know, test it out. Yeah. And if you do find your machine, then yes, yeah, slowly increase the uh, the betting pool. Mm -hmm. And if you have enough money to do max bet, then you know go go for it. Yeah, your money at, at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, all right. You know, you're in Vegas after all, right? You know. Yeah. It's either, it's either you gamble or you uh or you go to to uh to a building with elvis and you get married yeah yeah or maybe uh chip ah, there, there, there was nothing here <laughs> when i came home <laughs> yeah <laughs> you didn't go to see like a chip and dale show or anything did you <laughs> i wanted to go to thunder down under but no. oh, okay my cousin flaked out oh, okay and then I guess if if I'm going next year for Evil, I'll do like one day earlier. So come, mm. come on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then do my shenanigans. So right. which maybe I'll try I see it, you know, in JJ. If um Liana and um or Jackie's like around, or Nadia and Simmons. Like, hey, you want to go fucking grab a bite or just watch a fucking show? Dinner and a show. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that would be sound like a good time for you. When it comes to me, I'm very tempted to try out something involving with their uh, shooting range, since it's Vegas after all. So, can you know. Cause California is like, uh, you know, with the gun stuff, but, um, yeah, you know, Vegas, right. That, or just grab a, uh, or go to a, one of those like bars, uh, with the cigars and everything smoking bar, I guess, but I don't know. We'll see. That or just hang out with people. I don't know. <laughs> you know, people go to New York, New York, and you know, do the roller coaster, or fucking go to the needle, I believe it's called, and you go on to that roller coaster. Yeah, I kind of want to try the tacos that Kenny's been hyping up about. Cause I had a, I had. A oh, that's shit. the thing I I couldn't do last last time, which now I would. You know, this past evil was. Try a fucking Gordon Ramsay burger. Oh, next time. <laughs> well, next time if you're if you're gonna go up, you're taking me there. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. 
we'll go. We'll go eat Gordon Ramsay, and then I'll be like, it's fucking. <laughs> well, the uh, the pork burger or whatever that's like pink on the inside, so it's like, which is supposed to be normal. Don't be scared. Okay. I've had it twice. I'm still here. You know, <laughs> he, he, he's not a. He didn't turn into an animal yet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And do an animality. <laughs> All right. And that's the thing too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you are if you are gonna bust it from you know from Cali to snow, I guess maybe one of you guys bring your PS5 to play. Oh yeah. We'll see. Because the room that we have, it was nice, but the TV, let's just say there was no clear picture. Did it have a HDMI port? Remember? Yeah. Okay. There's no like lock on or anything like that, is there? So you can like plug it in with your own shit? Okay. Yeah. And then once you open the fridge, you have to pay for it, right? Is oh, our room, we didn't, we didn't have the fridge. Oh, okay. It was, it was just basic, basic. No fridge, no uh, microwave. <laughs> yeah, microwave. <laughs> All right. All right. Buddy. Uh, that's it. That is it. Let's end it on that. So thank you very much. We'll try to be back, and uh, hopefully there's stuff to talk about. But maybe, maybe we'll come back to some of these topics and open it a little more if we have to. But, anyways, yes. Oh wait, Sawa, how's our rivals real quick? Oh, my rival. It's what Overwatch. Wants what Overwatch 2 wants to be. There you go. There you go. As he's but it does have the the um you can tell that these people are not coordinated. Oh the, you mean the players? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course not. Of course not. Alrighty. We'll uh see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me play the sound effect. Because we didn't.